Oh, warming up my alpha maleness. Oh, this is okay. a men talk. Oh. How are y'all doing today, you beautiful, beautiful beings? Can I get some OOs in the chat? Mwah. Oh darn, I realized on-screen chat seems to be borked. Well, that's weird. Yes, indeed. Isn't life absolutely amazing, chat? <gasps> Hello there. How are you doing, you wonderful, wonderful beans? Looks like the on-screen chat is broken today. I'm not sure if YouTube has updated something since my last stream like two days ago, but something seems to be amiss. But I guess it's fine. We still have the chat on the side of the screen, so you should be able to keep up anyway. Um, it's a shame, though. I like having this little chat for replay purposes, but I suppose when we're going to play games anyway, it's not too bad because the screen might be a little bit messy anyway, so, so maybe it's for the best. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise because you can't see all the freaking ovos that you write in the chat in the VOD. Look at that. The whole chat is just filled with ovos. Disgusting. I would never do this. <laughs> Hello, chat. How are you doing? It's so nice to see you all here. It's Friday, after all. Is it Friday? Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. Close enough. It's Friday. Cheers. <laughs> Um, your tie. I know, right? I bought this tie last year, I think. It's beautiful. Um, I did notice it's probably like a bit of a cheap one, though, sadly. I realized because some of the some of the seams are very sensitive, so I hope it lasts. But it works for this. It works for the stream. <sighs> Happy Pride Month. So anyway, chat. Anyway, how are you doing? It's my birthday. Happy birthday, rabbit, you beautiful bean. This one is all for you. Mwah. Oh, yes, indeed. ASMR kisses for life. No, I'm not turning into one of those channels. Please, chat. Chill. God. Okay, let's turn on some tunes before it gets too awkward in here. Wow. Holy shit, that's such a vibe. Gah. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. It's a vibe tonight. Oh, yes, indeed. Hey, Click, have you ever tried any Olympiads while you were at school? 
Olympic sports. I'm not sure what classifies as Olympiads, uh, honestly. I don't. Maybe we didn't have the same kind of sorting. I did some of the. We, we did some of the stuff, of course. We did like the running things. We did the jumping things. I was surprisingly good at high jumps when I was a kid because we had a trampoline, you know, like the big bouncy mats. When I grew up, and I bounced on it like all summer. And for some reason, that enhances your leg muscles that are the same ones you use when you do high jumps. So all of a sudden, after like a summer uh, vacation, I was like the best in my class at high jumps. Even though I was a short little shit back then, I could jump the highest, which was amazing. Oh yes. My phone said there was only one person watching, so I came to say hi, and then we click. Oh, that's so sweet! Welcome in! Aw, oh, Chaos Count, I'm very glad to have you my audience, so even when I grow irrelevant and people no longer tune into my beautiful gaming streams, I can at least count on having one viewer. That is very sweet. Thank you. Oh yes, indeed. Love hearing the gorgeous click. Oh! Oh, you're the gorgeous- where, where is my universe card? I need to figure this out. Where did I put it? Maybe it's in my closet. I have a closet with, like, studio equipment as a complete disaster. I think it's probably in there somewhere. Buried. What's your favorite word? Ooh! I think in English it's probably discombobulated. I just like it. It sounds overly fancy and it basically just means confused. <laughs> oh, oh my god, are you a little startled? You're quite discombobulated. It just sounds mwah, amazing. In Swedish, it's probably something weird. Like, there are a lot of Swedish words, because Sweden has, like, this weird mix where you can combine words, and there's also a lot of old-fashioned words that sound really dirty, but they're not. So, for example, there's a word in Swedish called sumprunkare, which basically means, like, swamp masturbator, directly translated, which sounds super weird, but in reality, it's an old-fashioned job title, and it used to be on fishing ships when they were, like, uh, move around the water or like shake out the, the garbage that came out when they were fishing and stuff like that. It's something like that. It's like an old job title on a fishing boat, but it just sounds really bad in modern context. <laughs> They're like, what's your job title? Ah, I'm a swamp masturbator. What? <laughs> so I, I love a lot of old Swedish words like that because people will assume it's really dirty and bad, but in reality it's like, no, it's just an old job title. It just sounds really, really weird. You reminded me about the horrifying beep test. What's the beep test? Now I'm confused. Beep test. Is that one of those old jump scare things from early YouTube? Maybe it is. Oh my god! L L Larissa, thank you so much for the 10. You beautiful. We love your videos and you make me laugh. Oh, thank you so very much. That goes straight into Pineapple Pizza Fund. Heck yes. Oh my god. Have you checked the fan art on Discord? I'm auto. I haven't yet auto, but I will. I mean, I do check it on a regular basis, but I don't think I've scrolled through it in the last day or so. I've been a bit busy because uh, there are some summer plans in Sweden, so I need to like work ahead to to get ahead of stuff before before I'm no longer by my computer. So uh, stuff has been a little uh, hectic. <laughs> I haven't even shaved, look at that. I actually look like a properly disgruntled office worker, isn't that amazing? Will you ever play Ace Attorney? Also, try to say... No. <laughs> uh, I know what Ace Attorney is, it would be fun to play. I watched a meme video of Ace Attorney today when they were discussing gayness. It was very fun. It's like, oh, but I'm straight, but I like men. So liking men isn't gay. OBJECTION! That is very gay. No! OBJECTION! It was very funny, it was very stupid, and very funny. Here have Moonies, thank you so much, Moss. You beautiful bean. Mwah! Watch the drinking. It's a Swedish beer. Landsorts Lager. Very nice. It's a lager beer. Mm. It's okay. I did hit the gym today, so I can spare some calories, okay? I'm, uh... I'm at that age now where I... I can't expect everything to just, uh magically flow through like they used to do when back when I was 18 years old. <sighs> it's a shame, isn't it? I will say, during COVID is the first time in my life. It's both good and bad. Don't get me wrong. I was always on the side of the spectrum where I was kind of underweight when I was a kid. I had like iron deficiency and stuff. I was really pale and sickly and kind of struggling. Not anorexic, but uh, not, not great either. So I was like underweight, pale, um, uh, I had a bad appetite, bad immune system, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it took me a while to catch up on that kind of stuff. And uh, even after that point, I always struggled putting on weight. Not sure if it was genetic or if it was a result of this thing, but I was always quite skinny. And now, when I'm 30, it's the first time in my life I've actually been able to properly put on weight. Uh, even when I worked out a shit ton in my early 20s, I would get like more ripped, but I would never be able to put on weight. Even though I ate so much, 
worked out a lot. It would be like, oh, you went from like 74 kilos to 75. Wow. <laughs> In two years. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Emmerich, thank you so much for joining the last squad, you beautiful bean. And Pinto, thank you so much for the four months as Noble Lasso. Hi, Click, you're looking very tropical. Mm. Thank you. You'll kill those demons by blinding them with the colorful shirt. Oh, whoa, we'll see what stays on. I noticed it's a bit green, so it might mess up with the green screen, but I have a tank top. Yeah. So maybe it's going to be one of the tank top tie streams. Um, that would be sassy, wouldn't it? So, uh, white was something I struggled with for a long time. I always felt very tiny. Because I was a late bloomer, and I was very short for a large amount of my life, I still consider myself small. Like, when I compare myself to others I'm standing in front of, um, I still feel small. But if I see, for example, a photo or something, it's like, Oh my god, I'm like twice the size of everyone here, but I feel like I'm the same size. It's, it's so weird. Like, your self-perception gets completely skewed. So, I think that skinniness from iron deficiency mixed with being a late bloomer and being short until I was like 17, um... It gave you like a weird self perspective. So putting on weight for me and be able to like bulk up a little bit, it's like, oh, it's amazing. This is all my insecurities cured. Um, well, apart from the fact that it also gives slight chub because age, but yeah. <laughs> are you sure you're an alpha? I think I'm the alpha. Psych! What is up, Click? How are you doing? Also, what's your favorite song you have made? Mine is Kid. Thank you, dirty old man. I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? Really nice to see you. Thank you so much for the 50. Um, I really like that song. It's very sweet. I wasn't too happy with the lyrics, though, because I remember I kind of botched some of the rhymes in that one. It was a bit of an experimental song, but I really like the sentiment. Like, take your time to enjoy every life chapter, because a lot of people are going to kind of stress you to rush through it, and I don't think that's the way you live a happy life. Um... Christopher, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. You beautiful bean. This one is all for you. Mwah. I think favorite song that I have written. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Tough choice. I really liked whatever. Not because of any specific reason. I just really liked the vibe as it came out. It's like very chill, relaxed, and the whole song was basically improvised. I just started recording and looping things, and all of a sudden it turned into a whole song. So it's like a very spontaneous, in the moment kind of thing. Probably one of the songs that took the least time to produce for me, but. It turned out very well. It's nice. That one dude, thank you so much for the Noble Lasso Squad. You beautifully, and this one is all for you. Quick, will you protect us from the scary demons? I will marry the scary demons! Ah, absolutely. Absolutely beautiful. Where is the shirt from? Potat got me this shirt. I think it's from H&M. If I remember correctly. So, I'm wearing the shirts Potat give me for my streams, because I suck at picking out shirts. So she does it for me. I'm so colorblind, man. It's like, <laughs> she was looking at a shirt and be like, do you like this one? And I was looking at it and the color options, and I was like, I prefer the red one. And she's like, there is no red one. I was like, no, but that one, that one is red. And she's like, no, no not click, that's green. Like, oh, it looks nice. <laughs> so I got it, but it's green. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, click. I don't know if you'll see this, but my niece has been refusing to sleep with anything other than her baby toy for 13 years. But this weekend, didn't take it and slept with support demon and mango fine. <gasps> that is so sweet. Oh, that is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, that fills my little Swedish heart. Evil Cat, thank you so much for the meow. You beautiful being came from ballet class and see this so happy. In Rosa, thank you so much for the noble lasso membership. You beautiful. Mwah. Oh, what? Click is a very cutie boy. Oh, where is my universe card? I need it. I don't know where I put it. It's a shame. What a beautiful day to do doing a stream. A very colorful man yelling about how he will marry demons while drowning alcohol. <laughs> well, to be fair, it's just a beer, and I feel like I've deserved it because I worked hard today. I have a really fun video coming out. It's about anarchy chess. And, and the thumbnail is very trans, because queens and pawns are trans, because, yeah, obviously. So I've, I've been working with Anne Mine on a thumbnail, and I think it's really cute. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might show a teaser, or maybe I'll save it. Maybe I'll save it. Um, that's the kind of video where I'm like, I'm very happy with it, but I also know that it might be that kind of video that YouTube decides. It's like, no, no, no I'm gonna squish this one, so... We'll see. But if nothing else, at least I'm happy with the creation. I kind of that's the that's the downside about being like a professional creator, uh, or, or someone at least does it full time. That uh, 
one aspect of your content is weighed so heavily about how YouTube treats it. And I hate that. I, I hate that it's like so hard to be happy with something you made without looking at numbers. Because like the whole dashboard is like constructed to basically get you addicted to it, which is wild. Um, I actually caught a stream. I love your videos, man. Each one makes my life a little better. Greetings from Poland. Jako, welcome in you beautiful bean. I do hope you enjoy your stay. Hey, Kaliki, you're going through a pretty ugly period. I wanted to tell you I love your videos and your wholesomeness. It's very refreshing. Dragon, I do hope it gets better soon. Life can definitely suck in periods, and sometimes it sucks for extended times. But you've gotten through every difficult day so far, and I'm sure you will get through the other ones too. Um, I wish you the best of luck. It still says one watching for me for some reason in the comment section. Hell yeah, you're the only watcher, just some normal guy. It's just you and me now, baby. Oh yes, indeed, your own personal click stream. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be cool? Oh my god, I kind of... That would be kind of fun to do, honestly. Like an unlisted stream, and I give the link to just like a couple of chosen individuals and be like, Welcome to the stream, we're just four people here. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. I like that. Hyper VIP. Mm. Can we get Simba on the webcam? He's not here right now, sadly. He's with my grandma. So uh, you can you can definitely assure he is getting very spoiled right now. So he is not suffering in the least. Ha. Ah. Raise your hand. Click as your emotional support team and aggressive very Oh. Duh. Vulkrudskutrun. Pokemon nerd. Here, favorite Pokemon. Ah, Snorlax. Hell yeah. You know, when I first started playing Pokemon Go, that must have been like back in 2016. Oh my god, Pokemon Go is seven years old. <laughs> Pokemon Go is seven years old, man. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, age crisis aside, when I first started playing Pokemon Go, I hatched a 10 kilometer egg, and it was a Snorlax. And uh, it was pretty powerful. It was like 1,500 CP or something back then, which was really good. Uh, this was like in the first week of Pokemon Go, so most people had Pokemon that were around like maybe 500. So I could like plow entire gyms completely solo for like the next month because no one had Pokemon that powerful. And Snorlax was also really like uh, definitely needed a nerf back in those days. It was amazing. It was amazing. Oh. No, I'm 18 and I feel old. No, you were like 11 years old when Pokemon Go released. Oh my. No, wait. Yeah, no. Oh god. I mean, to be fair, I was also, like, a young, fresh individual. I was, like, 23. I wasn't even doing YouTube. I was still a student back then. I remember I was in the middle of uni when Pokemon Go came out. Jesus Christ. And avoid sharing age in chat, by the way, especially if you're under 18, because, uh, because safety online. So keep that in mind, chat. Please play Yuno on stream. That could be fun. I might play Yuno with, like, OT and Sult. Sadly, they they were doing their own things today. I'm not popular enough for them anymore. Oh. They grow up so fast, man. They grow up so fast, man. <sighs> no, well. Click, can I be a part of your VIP group? I will draw you. Aww. Aww. Should I start taking bribes for this? Maybe I should start taking bribes for this. God, I'm really turning into a proper influencer, aren't I? Uh, thank you for the laughs you give me. An additional, you sound like a real nice human. That is so sweet, Hans. I mean, to be fair, I'm just a pretty normal guy, honestly. I do stupid shit as well, just like everyone else. I think... I think I try to do what I think is good. Um, but I definitely don't get it right all the time. Um, but thank you so very much. I appreciate it. And those 25 are definitely going into my pineapple pizza fund. Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Why can I imagine you and manly badass hero playing horror games together? I don't actually know who that is. But if my audience endorses them, it's probably a good thing. Hey, click, aren't you a demon yourself? Well, there's a difference between, like, <laughs> demons and demons. You know, there's a, there's a distinct difference. You would have to create the Click's VIP waiting list and have a bouncer like a club. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you call it if two lizards can't mate? E-reptile dysfunction? I'm so proud of my community that this is what we have built together. Just a community of vague wholesomeness and punts. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Click, you're the most alpha, alpha male I know. Double alpha. Oh, yes, indeed. I love when Click says, oh, yes, indeed. It's like one of those catchphrases. I think I, think I say a few things. 
too much in my videos. It's oh my god, oh yes indeed, and uh, what else? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> mm. Where game? We will start soon. We're just waiting for people to have a chance to drop in because YouTube notifications are notoriously slow. So, uh, uh, chill! God, what? Where game? Where game? Oh, it's the same same person twice. Okay, I thought it was like uh, chat actually being... Chill out! <laughs> it will come. We're just enjoying ourselves here, okay? We're just vibing. <gasps> Did I get DMs on Disky Whiskey? Ooh. Am I into Diablo yet? Well, not yet, but maybe I will be. Demon mommies are a, 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 a treat, so to say. And this is the first time catching a stream. Glad to be here. Welcome you beautiful being. I do hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, yes, indeed. Where is the game? Is the, now everybody's just very game. Oh, my God. Your chat, you're hopeless. Let me do a poll for this, just to make sure. JD, thank you so much for the five. You're beautiful being. This one is... Starta en frågestund. Why is this in Swedish? <laughs> wait, wait, I can do a frågestund. Okay, how does how does this say något? Okay, am I supposed to write a question here or something? Like, um, ask a question? Is this something new? Oh my god! It's like a separate tab. Holy sh- Okay, wow. I didn't know this was a thing. Is this just like a- is this... Is this just a separate chat? Well, this isn't really working out at all, is it? It's just a separate... <laughs> okay, maybe we should... Uh... Oh, I've slipped that frog, stunt. <laughs> yes. Okay, well, now we have... Uh, now we have removed... The frog is stunt. <laughs> that was... Uh... I like the thought. But it's just another live chat, man. Maybe there are some settings for it I can mess around with. But, uh... Damn, that was, uh, okay. Same shirt, gang. Loving the summer vibes. <gasps> Trick Cloud, you have the same shirt as me? That is swag. I love your taste in swag. Hell yeah. Or in drip. As a software engineer, my favorite part of the videos is when you explain actual science and math. I also consider teaching and eventually picked computer science instead because salary. Yeah, I can relate to that. I really, I really like that you appreciate those part of the videos. I think they're very nice. It adds, like, a bit of wholesomeness and depth to it that you don't find in a lot of places. Because I think... Well, I've, I've, I've always noticed that what makes you stand out is what is not the norm where we're at right now. So, for example, when I used to work as an engineer, the norm was obviously not to be... I mean, the thing that made you stand out was obviously not that you were an engineer. Everyone could do mathematics and all that kind of jazz, because that's what the job was. So what made me stand out there was, like, for example, that I worked with music. Um, here on YouTube, what makes me stand out is that I'm an engineer. It's like, it's like reversed. It's ironic because it's not the most common thing to do. Like, you know, go to engineering and then just, oh, and I'm going to read memes for a living. So I, I like to think it's a part of my experience that I can like share a little bit, even if it's very casual, even if it's just in videos and, you know, explaining silly things sometimes. I, I, I kind of like it. It's something that I feel I can add on top of it, which is very satisfying. Click, I'm sending you some delicious ice cream. <gasps> Chris, thank you so much for the super much. You beautifully and I will spend that on pineapple pizza ice cream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're all gay. Merce here. Oh, yes. Would you consider to open an actual Click Academy? I do have... Um, I have had, like, small dreams about doing various things uh, with charity and stuff in the future. I don't. I don't think I'm anywhere close to doing what I want to do in terms of, like... Um, I don't know, the, 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 it takes a lot of resources, influence, manpower, etc. I don't think I am there yet where I could do what I have in mind. But I've had some thoughts about that. Like, what do I do after I no longer produce content the way I do now? And there are a few different ways to go. You, um, If it's gone really well, you pick up another job, for example. Like... Uh, I go back to engineering. Um, I become some sort of manager person, and I help out younger talent, who's like the next generation of content creators. I simply slow down, but do it more chill. I open a plushy company, or I start working with other stuff. Um, and that's been something I've been thinking about, because YouTube as a job 
it feels like it doesn't last longer than like 10 years most, you know, for most people. I, 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 there, there are some channels, of course, that have gone longer than that, but for most people it seems to last a few years. And already now I'm three and a half years into full time, so part of me is like, for how long are people actually going to be interested in listening to what I have to say, you know? Um, I'm, I, I think right now, age-wise as well, I'm somewhere in between, you know, I'm not young and hip, <laughs> but I'm also not old-old yet. So I think I'm somewhere in between where I can share a bit of life experience, but I can still relate to the fellow kids. Uh, for real, for real, no cap. So, <laughs> so uh, um, but, but those are kind of thoughts, uh, like long-term thoughts about life in general that you sometimes think about. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's my threats. Whenever I have kids in the future, that's going to be my threat. You know, if they do something disappointing or if they act up or, you know, they smuggle alcohol or, or smoke, you know, oh, disgusting, then I uh, I won't get mad. I'll be like, you know what? You can mess up if you like. But if you keep doing that, I am going to miss you slurs in front of your friends. No, not slurs. Sorry, slang. Why do I say slurs? <laughs> that would be that would be really bad. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to call your friends <laughs> If you don't... God, that had a different energy to it. No, I'm gonna misuse slang on purpose in front of your... <laughs> in front of your friends. And I'm gonna do it confidently. <laughs> I'll blame that on the beer. Calm down, I've had like a quarter of a beer, okay? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that didn't come out the way I thought it would. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, maybe that's another way to embarrass future kids. But anyway, that's gonna be my strategy. My dad's strat. Don't be upset. Don't raise your voice. Don't do any stupid stuff. <laughs> you look so no cap on a stack right now. Thank you, Zachary, for... for the lingo. God. I remember back in the 90s when rad used to be a cool word. Yeah, bro, that's so rad. <laughs> anyway, Click did nothing wrong in 2023. <laughs> Click parent tip you slurs these guys. I'm just gonna, is this gonna be like an r slash frick you Karen thing? Or like insane parents? Yeah, that's like the embodiment of insane parents. Maybe I've just read too much insane parents. Jesus Christ, this is, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, emotional damage. Sorry, that was me. <clears throat> I mean, not me. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. Hashtag click is over party. <laughs> I'm so glad I decided to stream today. Good choice. Click is now cancelled. You look fabulous. Love the shirt. Thank you so very much. I like the contrast between those messages right next to each other. That's beautiful. There was always be a market for someone with good voice to read online content to people while they're at work. That is true, Infinite Anvil. That is that is true. And it's amazing how far this has come. I remember when I started out doing what I do now. I, I had a small home studio which is the closet I started recording in, uh, which was basically just a walk-in closet where I had removed all the stuff and just like padded it for soundproofing and stuff because I enjoyed dabbling with music and I had a closet that I could afford to like clean out a bit. So that was basically my improvised home studio and I put my mic in there. And that's where I started recording my videos because I saw others doing it and I was like, damn, I could do this. I enjoy voiceover work. I have the setup already. I have like a little closet with isolation. It gets really hot after sitting there for like 15 minutes, but but it sort of works. And uh, that's where I started. And uh, it was pretty wild. I still remember the first time I saw any kind of success with those videos, which wasn't anything massive, but it was incredibly cool. I remember I gained like, you know, 150 subs in a day or something like that. And I was like, holy shit, this is amazing. Wow. This is going places. Um, and then I had a lot of problems with YouTube demonetization and stuff because it took me a while to figure out the guidelines. The guidelines are very vague, so you kind of have to f 
figure it out with trial and error. So nowadays I don't have as much issue with it. It happens on occasion that videos get demonetized, but not as much as they used to. So that's very nice. Um, and I did that as a hobby. I still remember my friends came to me afterwards and be like, bruh, where did you go? Because I was working full time and in the evenings and weekends I was recording meme videos. <laughs> so I was working like 90 hour weeks because I really wanted to keep doing both. I was like, damn, I want to work with engineering because I've studied for it. I, I have a degree for a reason. I should do this. But at the same time, I really like this little YouTube gig I'm going on. I, mm, I really like it. So I was working oh, like an animal. I remember I would come home from work at like 6 in the evening. I would have dinner by my computer while editing videos. Upload the video by midnight. And then go to sleep and repeat. That was my life. When my colleagues asked me, like, hey, how was your week? And I was like, uh, <laughs> what do I say? I sat whole week and edited meme videos. <laughs> Is that what I should say? Um, but it was really, I'm really glad I did. It was life changing. Never thought it would come to this. It's insane. Kelly, thank you so much for joining the Lassa Squad. You're beautiful. Being K Fox, thank you for joining the Noble Lassa Squad. And Texan Monkey, thank you so much for joining the Lassa Squad. You're beautiful. Being. Mwah. Mm. Give me a crumb of that work ethic. I mean, I my, my discipline is very spiky, <laughs> if that makes sense. I have certain days where I'm super motivated, I get so much done. Other days where I can barely bring myself to do anything. I, I think that's also part of working in a creative field. Like some days your, your creative vibe is just not there, which is weird. Happy Pride, fellow. Happy Pride, you beautiful Jay-Z. Jay-Z? Jay-Z loves AI. Happy Pride, you beautiful bean. I do hope you enjoy your stay. Mwah. At the click, dad. <laughs> okay, calm down there. A click are too silly, and now is being accused of being a furry. Not clickbait, but... Well, that's that's my that's my last card. You know, when, when, my, when my career is failing, that's my last little ditch effort to get some clout for another week. I'll just make a thumbnail with a fursuit. How about that? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> I would never live that down, though. <laughs> Don't take that out of context, please. It's only a hypothesis, parallel universe stuff. Click to future mini click. Kid, clean your room or I will tell your squad that no cap, you got a jet or you won't have any riz. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, kiddo, for real, for real. Messy room is like no riz, no cap, you know? Or no risk, full cap, however you do. No, no cap, no cap. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> for real, for real, messy room is not buzzing. <laughs> or whatever, I'm just imagining like what slang is gonna be used by that generation. Cause this is like, you know, 15 years ahead in time or something like that. Cause in my brief time on the internet, I have seen like four or five slang generations come and go by now, which is kind of nuts. <laughs> you remember like when yeet was popular or lit? That wasn't even that long ago. That was like, what, three years? Four years? Something like that? It was like, ah, oh, yeet, that's lit. Squad fam. Squad fam was also a thing. I miss squad fam. Ah. <laughs> Click has there is no cap for real, for real, on so lit. <laughs> I still say yeet. Yeet is a good word. Yeet is good vernacular. I had a rough time last year. It hit me how lonely I felt during that time. I cried my... Aww. Larissa, I do hope it feels better soon. Loneliness is hard. And loneliness doesn't always have to do with physical surroundings either, which is nice tie. Thank you, Ed. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, loneliness is hard because it's not necessarily tied to physical stuff either. You can have people around you and still feel lonely. So it's very, very difficult. It's very difficult. Um, but I hope you get through it. I really do. The internet really yeeted the <laughs> squad fam for real, for real. That was so nice, though. I like those awkward in-between slangs. That's beautiful. Glick is packing, no cap, for real, for real, squad fam. He got ultra riz. Riz was like a slang that felt it lasted for three weeks. I don't see anyone use it anymore. I saw it spike in popularity for three weeks and then it just gone. Absolutely amazing. Probably the most short-lived slang I've ever seen. I even used it in the video title a bit sarcastically, but still. Click, you smell amazing today and don't let anyone else tell you different. You're an amazing person. It's emotional support. Aww. People are way too sweet. You give me way too much cred. 
Is YOLO still cool? I don't think YOLO has been cool for like 10 years. <laughs> uh, Riz sounds like it would be great soda. I know, right? It sounds like a soda. I think YOLO was cool back in like 2011. And even then, it was still kind of cringe because I remember people got tattoos of like, oh my god, YOLO! And, and then they were bullied for it like the next year. So, yeah. I go to my teenage cousin for slang. That's an amazing source. I, I, I don't even know any teen... Do I know teenagers? I don't think I do. I keep thinking of like, you know, my friends, little siblings and stuff. Like, they're teenagers, right? And then I realize they're like 26 now, so... <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh, can confirm was in high school a decade ago, and it was already going out of fashion then. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, YOLO was kind of like going out of fashion when I left high school, and that was like back in 2011 or something. Um, what does YOLO even mean? Uh, you only live once. So it's like, uh, Courtney, should you really be smoking 15 cigarettes at once? And Courtney goes like, Haha, YOLO girl, slay. So uh, slay is kind of one thing that stuck out. Slay kind of lasted. That's a slang that's lasted. Like, yeah, slay. I love when slay is being used sarcastically. It's so funny. Uh, Kit Kat, thank you so much for gifting a membership. You beautiful bean. This one is all for you. Mwah. Uh, hey, click glad I caught one of your streams. Are you going to bring back this board demon? As I never as I never regretted not buying something as much as the demon. No, I'll probably bring it back early next year because Makeshift asked me to do that with Mango, and I would be surprised if we don't do it with the demon. So maybe February, March in 2024. It's gonna be 2024 already. That's like future stuff. That's like you know when they used to do movies back when I was a kid. They used to be like, ah, oh, look at 2020. We have flying cars and and space teleporters. And now it's like, what do we actually have? Like, oh gee, we have AI beauty filters on Instagram. <sighs> nice. <laughs> oh wow, I just realized I associate slang with food and drink. Oh, that's interesting. I was promised flying cars by 2000. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I remember watching those like sci-fi movies that were made in the 80s. And they're like, yeah, the year 2000, we have... Flying cars and and uh, laser laser butts. Uh, oh. 2024, you mean like that fake time from edgy future movies? Yep, yep. Imagine like when we reach... I mean, at least Cyberpunk gave it a little bit more of a window, right? That was like 2077, right? That's like, okay, I can see a decent amount of stuff changing in the next 50 years. That's a bit more believable. Like the, the future movies that always said like, oh, 10 years in the future, or 20 in the future. It's like, it's gonna be the same. We're just gonna have better phones, man. God. Um, or well, take it with a grain of salt. We might actually be in like a bit of a paradigm shift with AI and stuff. It's gonna be interesting to see. Blade Runner was like 2019. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, right. Click, what's your favorite movie growing up? Ooh. That's interesting. Did I have a favorite movie growing up? I had a lot of movies. I liked, for example, Hot Fuss was a movie I remember liking a lot. That was really funny. I'm not sure if I can't... When was that released? I guess it counts as a kid. I was maybe like 12 or 13 when that came out, probably. Something like that. But yeah, Hot Fuss is really funny. I would recommend watching it. It's like a hyper-ambitious British police officer that gets randomly sent out to, like, a very quiet um, cottage village. And super bored. Like, everything sucks. And uh, then there's like this big conspiracy and it just, everything is out of control. It's super funny. Hot Fuss is amazing. Click like British comedy. Well, British comedy is quite dashing, isn't it? Uh, Jensen, thank you so much for doing the Nobel Answer Squad. You're beautiful. Mm. Where is my flying bike? I know, right? It's disgusting. I watched Hot Fuss for the first time recently. Lol. And you see, it's amazing. You can also watch Shaun of the Dead. It's like the same actors, same kind of vibe, but it's uh, zombie-themed. Shaun of the Dead is super fun. According to Star Trek, by 2063, World War III would have come and gone, and we would have first contact with aliens. That'd be in 40 years. I mean, if aliens came to Earth, things could go pretty fucking fast. You know, it, it's... But it's also perhaps statistically improbable. I like to think about that, though, like philosophy-wise. Just what, what's the likelihood of, of which reality? You know, are we alone in the universe? Are we early adopters? Is there a great filter that, for example, there's a natural law that uh, societies wipe themselves out or exhaust their home planet before they can make it into space? 
there's just some something about like competitive biological creatures building a society that can't mesh and well enough together and it just ends up like uh, suffocating itself basically or is it simply that there is a network of aliens already they just don't contact you until you've reached a certain level of sophistication very similar to like how we treat um, indigenous tribes sometimes there's like no no it shouldn't you shouldn't you shouldn't mess with it you know that kind of thing so maybe we're just an indigenous tribe to like the surrounding alien super species who knows um, but uh, yeah there are many interesting ways to think about it but there are many people that are way smarter than me that thought about this for a hundred years gremlin boy thank you for the two dollars you beautiful bean could you imagine, though, if the average person had a flying car, you would see how bad drivers are. We'd have 9-11 every Tuesday? Holy shit. I mean, I imagine if we had flying cars in that way, that they would be kind of self-driving at that point. I imagine if we managed to get flying cars working, we would have at least figure out the self-driving aspect by then, you know? So that's what I like to think, that your car is more like your personal train cart that goes along, like, planned routes, rather than being an actual, like, car you drive. Because that, that would be like everyone having their own private helicopter. That would never fucking work. <laughs> Jules is here. Thank you so much for joining the Noble Lassa Squad. You beautiful bean. This one is all for you. Mwah. Can we get a plushie of your microphone? Complete with the googly eyes. Oh, little thing. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Comfort microphone. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for the 10. Jesse Lee, thank you so much for the Lassa Squad. Can I get an uwa uwa? I guess that's good enough. Thank you for the two. Hi, Click. What are your favorite Sabaton songs? Ooh. Uh, Seven Pillars of Wisdom. I really like. It's probably not one of the most well-known songs, but... It, oh, my God. It's so good. It's so freaking good. It, like, has a lot of energy. It's fast. It's catchy. I listen to that on repeat when I work out. It's so good. Um, I also like... Let's see. I actually have a playlist here. Uh, let's see. What other ones do I have? Unkillable Soldier is amazing. Uh, Fields Overdone is super good. I mean, then you have, of course, the, the bangers that everyone knows, like To Hell and Back, The Last Stand, um, super good. Carolus Rex, for example, both in Swedish and in English. Listen to the Swedish version if you haven't. Legendary. I click. What are your favorite Sabaton songs? That's what I, yes, I it. Oh, but yeah, that, those are some of my favorite ones. Absolutely amazing. I want to go to a Sabaton concert. Um, we were thinking about going to a event in Germany, but it turns out they didn't go to it, so it was meh. But... Uh, I hope we can go to one. Because that's like one of the few bands I actually care about seeing live. Like, don't get me wrong, I've seen a lot of like really good bands. I saw Toto, for example, last summer. Amazing live band. Super good. But I think Sabaton is one of the bands I've been looking forward to the most of seeing. Um, probably because I listen to it a lot. Uh, Salad the Snake, thank you so much for the last squad. You beautiful being. This one is all for you. Mwah. Hi, Click. Do you listen to the band Ghost? If yes, what are your favorite songs by them? I know, I think I know which band it is. I don't listen to it regularly, though, but I know which one it is. Collect is my first time coming onto one of your lives. Welcome in, Lost Lobby. You beautiful being this one is all for you. Mwah. We've just been sitting and chatting for a while. I completely forgot about the game. But that's okay, we can start playing it a bit. <laughs> I saw the Goo Goo Dolls live in 2017. It was awesome. Oh, you got to see the Goo Goo Dolls. That is so cool. That is so cool. Those were like my early teenage year songs. Oh my god, that's amazing. Watched Sabaton live last year in Umeå. That is so cool. Yeah, I know they have some like uh, gigs in, in various places in Sweden, so it shouldn't be too much out of the question. Hello, The Click. I just joined to say thank you. You helped me so much. I have a hard one. Aww. <laughs> Salad, I swear to God. Well, thank you so much for the sweet message. You beautiful bean. This one is all for you. Mwah. Demonologist is a lot of fun. Ooh, ooh. You got those ghosts. Yeah, maybe we should start setting up, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. What's up, Adin? Yes, indeed. I have the house to myself. Put out this out. Socializing. Oh, she still has friends. <laughs> <laughs> friends. <laughs> Who needs that when you have memes and content? Just tweeted you an alpha meme. Uh, my Italian bro-in-law sent the family chat this AM. I felt like the healthier set of standards than the traditional alpha ideals. I mean, that's the thing. I feel like the alpha ideals on social media are so weirdly skewed. It's like, if you're buff and you're an asshole, then you're an alpha male. And it's like, bruh. Bruh. I have... I have men I have looked up to in my life or look up to that I would deem I mean the terminology is of course messed up 
it, it's like a really weird terminology, but like, let's call it respectable men or, or uh, men deserving of respect, if that makes sense. I have met many of those kind of people, but they don't have these kind of qualities. You know, they are competent, they are compassionate, they're good leaders, and they make life better for people around them. That's a true good masculine figure. And uh, I don't know, it, it's been like bastardized by social media where it's like, yeah, if you're, if you're an asshole, you treat people like shit and you have biceps, then, then you're a real man. It's like, Jesus Christ. Oh, and that's why I meme on it because I think it's silly. Uh, Click, what do you think about Reddit's protests? Oh, yeah, I saw that. It's such a shame that they're doing that for third party apps. I'm not an expert on the subject. I haven't had time to read up on it too much yet. Uh, so take my opinion with a grain of salt, but... I, I don't agree with the move Reddit is doing, especially when it comes to, for example, third-party apps that are uh, about accessibility. I think it's a real shame, because you have so many apps that are helping, for example, with blind people reading Reddit or assisting apps in various aspects. And uh, not considering that with such a huge change is not a great idea. It's not a great idea. So I agree with the purpose of the protest, but I'm not entirely certain it's going to help, <clears throat> if that makes sense, because I think it would have to be extended to such a ridiculous extent to get the platform to react. So, I don't know. Uh, I, I like the idea. I'm definitely not on the side of Reddit's decision, but uh, I mean, I hope it helps. I, I genuinely do, but I'm skeptical because uh, I've seen similar things before. Um, with that said, don't, don't remove API stuff, Reddit. It's silly decision, sis. So glad I caught another live. I want your... Uh, your I want you as a voice in our series so badly. Anyway, we could talk. Oh, if you have if you have something like that, send me an email on my business email. I go through that sometimes. No guarantees that I will have the time or <clears throat> that kind of stuff for, for for a lot of stuff. But uh, I'd definitely be open to hearing it out for sure. Heck yeah. Trust me, that's also a toxic thing from before social media. It's pushed on AMAB people hard. Uh, oh, oh, that's such a shame. The changes also kill the automod bots that most Reddit needs to work. Yeah, that too. It's so silly. It's so silly. I, I think it's just so many <sighs> secondary effects from this that I don't think have been considered. It it feels like a rushed decision in that way. It's like they, they wanted to do something or uh, they had some problem and they saw this as a quick, easy fix. But then they didn't consider that how much it actually affects the platform stability, accessibility, auto mods, etc. It's just, I don't know, um, decisions like this aren't very big and they always come with downsides and it feels like that wasn't properly considered. And that's a shame. Oh yeah, this is kind of messing up the shirt. Tank top time, baby! Oh! Oh, it's time for demon hunting! Urgh. Oh yes! Urgh. Rar XD, look at this tie. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sassy. Mr. Click, does your microphone have a name? Not really. Doesn't really have a name, it's just Mike. <laughs> Which sounds like, it sounds like a name, doesn't it? A click, I vibe with your emotional support, Ness. I think you're an amazing... Aww! Handsome in your own right! <gasps> oh, you're gonna make me blush. Uh, keep up the amazing work. Bra Warwick, you beautiful being. Thank you so much. Where's my universe card? I still don't know where it is. I really need to figure out where it is. Swole click, yas. Oh, summertime workout routines, baby. Hell yeah. Um, Name your microphone, my... No, the shirt. No. Click wants your favorite flavor of ice cream. Ooh. Probably mango. I like the chitty chat. Star Trek Ireland 2024. What does that mean? What does that What does that mean? Well, thank you, though. Dear Clicky Vicky, the trans rose must know if you enjoy the French bread known as croissant. I welcome your response. Ooh, I do. I always like myself a nice croissant. It's a very, like, typical... Uh, um, travel or vacation breakfast. Even when we were in Spain, um, we we used to eat croissants for breakfast. It was super nice. We lived like on top of a cafe, so we just go down and buy fresh croissants. It was so nice. A long time lurker, been watching Click for about two years. Always loved the vibes here. Welcome, you beautiful. Okay, let's say gaming. Oh my God, I'm so tiny. Why am I so? Yes, game is secondary. Click is forever. Oh wait, there we go. I need to calm down. Ego check, click. Ego check. All right, we can do like that. Oh my God, is YouTube gonna strike me for nudity because it looks like I'm not wearing clothes? I am wearing shirt, YouTube. 
It just doesn't show behind the microphone, okay? Relax. God. <laughs> oh my god, click show to shoulder on stream. God. Disgusting. All right, let's see. Play a game. Thank you. Click is first, game is second. Oh, yes, indeed. This is already found sounding spooky. I need to lower stream's volume a bit, I think. There we go. Okay, will the game capture actually work? <gasps> it works! Wow, that worked right away. That's amazing. Okay, I need to check the... Because uh, this game operates with mic inputs, I think. So the ghost can, like, hear you. Which is really spooky. Uh, let's see. Why is it so dark? Is it always this dark? Okay, let's see. I want to do single player today. Because I need to level up. I need to be worthy of the boys. The oil boys. As we call ourselves. Damn, it's dark. Is it supposed to... I don't remember it being this dark. But there was a patch just recently. Something... <gasps> oh! How do I... E? Oh, I see. There's a word there. Fucky rain. I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. I know there used to be a word in here, I think, on the... Can I read that? I think it's like... Banshee? OH MY GOD! Okay, that still works. Great. <sighs> that position makes you look topless. TOPLESS CLICK! Okay, anyway, sorry. Um... Yeah. Calm down, chat. Get some water. This is co-op, right? I mean, I am currently playing solo, because this is going to be really spoopy. This is going to be really spoopy. <sighs> Do not summon the tub spirit. I will summon any tub spirit I like. Okay, we need some loadout stuff, right? I don't... Am I supposed to buy stuff? Maybe I'll be fine. I have some default equipment, right? I'll just rock with that. Abandoned house. Yeah, well, I do have some, some... Yeah, I have enough for, like, one person, I think. Let's go. <laughs> if you think it's too dark, you can go to settings and fix that. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's see. Video? Uh, gamma correction. I think this one is supposed to be not visible. Or something like that. Okay, we can put it, like, there, maybe. I think that's good. Because then we can kind of see properly. Because it's supposed to be right here. Okay, I have my favorite, which is... Is that the bug meter Oh, maybe they changed the bug meter Oh no, here's the bug meter It's my favorite boy, Steve. Steve the bug. I love Steve the bug. The click, the game. Create a duck army and take over the world. Yes, I shall. Thank you. Is this the flashlight? Oh, it is. Perfect. Okay, what are my objectives here? And I'm also gonna grab... Maybe... Uh... This one? This spoopy glass? Looks like a DC movie. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? bug meter Yeah, you can kind of see ghost activities because the bug is, like, your friend. Uh, here I can see my brain. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Yikes. Okay, uh, what are my missions? Is this the mission tab? Oh, this is the mission, I think. Okay. Detect the type of ghost. Use your tools to detect the type of ghost and open your tablet to select the ghost type. Okay. And then we have optional objectives, but that's locked. So maybe I need to do something. It's like, read lost note, collect ghost orbs, find the sitting human silhouette using the ectoplasma glass. Oh, this is gonna be spoopy. I've never done this myself. I'm not sure how well I will do here. So bear with me, chat. I, will, I, I was very much carried by OT and Salty last time. Okay. Say thank you so much for the lasso squad. That is some great emotional comfort. I need that right now. We have a random generator. That's fun. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Easy, chat. Easy. The ghost can uh, can hear our manliness. God, what? Why is there so much creepy stuff in this house? What is this? Oh! What was that? Who is it? Wait. Wait a second. I hear something. Why do I hear something? What? What is that sound? What is that? I hear breathing. 
that is. Well, that alpha males aren't scared that easily. <laughs> oh god, there's a basement. No. Jesus Christ, no. Now why does it always have to be a basement? Oh, please. Okay, let's. I mean, we're looking for a silhouette of a go. Ah! I, uh, I, mm, I, don't, mm, I don't think chairs are supposed to move like that. Freaking discount Ikea. God, no. Can I? No? Okay, I can't, I can't get that out, I guess. Okay, um. That's fine. I didn't want that chair anyway. I didn't want it anyway, it's fine. It's fine. What is this? Do you want to play game with me? Oh, wait! Wait, it's supposed to be like a blank word. Oh, is it... Do you want to play ball with me? It's a ball in the picture. <sighs> Why are they... Uh, Oh, please, why? Why is this happening to me? This job sucks. Oh, God. Why are there bone things hanging? Ah! Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> I don't- I don't like- This job is shit, man. This job I need a raise for this. What is this? What is this garbage? What does that even say? Can I zoom in on it? What does that say? Victoria? Oh! I think I remember- I think Salty showed me this. Or was it OT? Yeah. Anger! Oh, anger! Anger! No? Angie! <laughs> Anger. Am I supposed to shout it louder? Anger. Raw XD. Anger. 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 Gur. Anger. Say to the other pictures and wait for the roach. Oh, there is another roach. Ah! Ah! Okay, well, we're fine. We're fine. That was, uh... That was nice. That was fun. Dream. That's not me. I didn't open that. Um... Okay, we're still supposed to find the ghost, though. I guess that wasn't the ghost, like the, the creepy lady that liked her dress. She was kind of clawing on it in a very seductive way, which I don't appreciate. Oh shit! Magna? Hmm. Is it supposed to do anything? Magna! Magna! <laughs> no? Magna. Magna. <laughs> no. Magna. Magna. Maybe here. Maybe Magna from here. Is Magna like a like a bra <laughs> ah! 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 I mean, uh, 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 yeah, uh, you're scaring me. Alpha male. Uh, okay. Now oh, we scared that ghost, didn't we, squad fam? We square scare that ghost good. They know their place. Yeah. 
I'm happy with our performance here today. Uh, fellow alpha males. God. Why is this room so... Oh, squ oh, it's the same... Anger? Again? Okay, well, um... Hmm. Oh yeah, I think I was supposed to look for ectoplasm as well. I don't know, it's very unclear. Oh wait, 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 wait. Where's that jumping? No. I don't think I've done anything productive. Have I done anything good? I have poked at a few things. I, I did I did some cursed wall writing. Is that a good thing? Or is that a bad thing? Well, let's head into the... <sighs> <sighs> Click turn on lights for less sanity loss. Oh, that's a good idea. <clears throat> there are lights. Ooh. No, that's just door stuff. Well, I just need to find... Oh, there's one. Oh! Ah! What do you mean, less sanity loss? What in the actual fuck? Do you mean for me or in the game? God! I mean... Urgh. Yeah. Ghosts are scared of me, that's why they keep disappearing. <laughs> Stop laughing, chat. Go, don't go in the basement, rule number one of horror. I mean, I know that. But I'm also... Ooh, look, the demonic circle is demonic. We have like EMF5. And I think we have freezing temperatures, because my breathing breath is breathing. Why are there like... Okay, I'm gonna drop this here on the floor. And I'm gonna look around with this glass. Okay. Am I supposed to poke stuff here? So I guess this is like the haunted room, right? Excuse me, what? What is that drawing there? That's very nice. Looks like the first sketch of the emotional support demon. Hell yeah. I feel emotionally supported already. Alright, well we have freezing breaths and we have like EMF5 or whatever, so that's good. Maybe I should write that down. Uh, evidence. EMF5 and freezing temps. Okay. So we should go back out and get like the EMF. Or the vo voice box or whatever. Okay. Dump this one too, I'm out of here. God, I'm so out of here. <sighs> it looks kind of satanic. Yeah, but in a good way, right? It's wholesome satanic vibes, right? Okay, here's where the girl appeared. <clears throat> I think I'm fine, though. Why are there so many ghosts? We have, like, encountered five of them already, and I don't think any of them are like the one we're chasing. Do I get paid extra for this? I hope so. I need to afford a shirt. I don't have one. I legit don't think I have one in the game. I'm running around like topless. What's this game called? It's a demonologist. So it's very like phasmophobia kind of genre. <clears throat> okay, is this the ghost box? Yeah, it is. Bop, 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 bop. Bop. Okay, well, it works at least. Maybe I should look for this one. I, th I think this one is for like... Uh, fingerprints and stuff? Yeah, it's like a UV light. Okay, that's good. How's my sanity? 60%? That's not too bad. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, well, I'm the type of ghost. Swiggity swiggity, coming for the booty. Testing, testing. <clears throat> do you think it likes singing? Do you think it likes singing? I think it likes singing. We can try it. It can be like, uh... Today is gonna be the day that you're gonna throw it back to you. And by now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Now backbeats are what is on the street that the fire in your heart is out And I'm sure you heard it all before but you never really had a doubt And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now no? Nothing? Wow. Wow. That sucks. <laughs> ah! 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 You fucking ass titties! Why 
wonder wall. Oh, you're my wonder wall. <coughs> God. Does that mean I, I that the ghost thing lit up? That means it's a clue, right? That means I got this one, right? And it's a... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely whispering. Yeah, I'm tossing this thing to fucking shit. Okay, I don't think I need this one. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. <laughs> Did you seriously comment on the demon's boss she was about to possess? It was more like random words in a moment of uh, alpha male. Isn't this the ex- ah! Ah! What the fuck? No! 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 Please! Please! I don't want to die! 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 No! 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 Fuck me in the fucks! Fuck me in the fucks! Oh my god! Did I survive? Did I make it? Is it unlocked? I mean, I mean, it wasn't even close! It wasn't even close! <sighs> God... Uh. Oof. Well, that's... Well... You know what they say, you should have one activity a day that raises your pulse, and that sure as shit did that. So it's, it's a, a bad... Did. Okay. Clicky Thicky <laughs> said a bad... Did. What's my sanity like? 50% is not that bad. Oh god. Uh, do I have sanity pills? <clears throat> Collect ghost orbs. I don't even know what that is! The frick are ghost orbs! What is this? Is it like a taser? Zip zip. Oh! I p oh. It spins. Oh, right, I think that's the one that catches the ghost. I, I vaguely remember. It's been a while since I played this. Ah, oh. <laughs> Playing- <laughs> having this playing in the background when I'm playing Minecraft is kind of scary. I'll be tending to my animals and then I'll hear screaming! <laughs> well, it's ma manliness, please. Okay, well, my sanity isn't great, so I'm thinking maybe we should head back and buy some sanity pills. I'm pretty happy with this as a first run. I'm not gonna... Oh, I'm not gonna push it. <clears throat> maybe, um... May maybe we got enough cash money to, like, level up and we get the next house. Yeah, I'm going back to the safe house. I need my safe space after this. Holy shit, dude. <sighs> Case report. I got 900 cash! This job actually pays well. Holy shit, I get 900 cash a night? I mean, it's a high chance of death, but, like... Damn, boy. Hell yeah. What level am I? Level 2, still. Okay, I still need a decent chunk of XP. But I have some cash, though, so I think I can actually buy some stuff. Um, I need, like, uh, sanity pills. Buy. Yeah, let's buy a sanity pill. Um, what else do we need? Photo camera is good. I want to check out the swag. Can I check swag? Where do I buy swag? Do I buy- oh, maybe it's here still. Is here where I buy- YES! That's me! God, less clothes is alpha. Ooh, there's like a cool spooky mask. Alright, here's like the lady outfits, which is like... Oh, I wish I could wear the, like the bathing suit. That would be- look, can you imagine this body in, in a bathing suit? God damn. God damn. Why must you discriminate, game? Why? Alright, what are our options? Um... Yeah, I mean, we have like... Nice jackets. Is this one unbuttoned? That'd be kind of swag. I don't think it is, though. 200 bucks? I mean, we can try it. Okay. Uh, how do I, like, equip it? Uh... <laughs> Real? Oh my god, we can buy, like... Fr this is like Scooby-Doo. Hell yeah. Okay, lower body. Should I just wear some cool pants? I'm gonna buy myself some cool pants. Maybe these ones. Pants are cheap, man. Hell yeah. Um, customized character. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so head. We have the sunglasses. Oh my god, we look amazing! Hell yeah. This is a good summer after hitting the gym, baby. Booyah. Okay, upper body. We have a t-shirt. Uh, yuck. No t-shirt for me. We have a jacket. 
Oh, it has a shirt underneath it. I, I was hoping it was gonna be like half topless. All right, no shirt for you, boy. Uh, we have cargo pants. I mean, that's kind of a sassy vibe, isn't it? Like a couple of camo cargo pants and no shirt. I'm kind of vibing with this. This is a good look. This is a good look. Okay, chat? It's a good look. Footwear. Ooh, we can have, we can have, we can be barefoot. Or we can have socks. Maybe socks is good, because then we can sneak better. Right? Is that a, is that a, is that a good logic? Or maybe this one. Maybe just shoes. Yeah, let's do shoes. Look at that. <clears throat> this is us, chat. Next time we play with OT, he's gonna be like, wow. Wow. Don't give free feet content. Yeah, uh, if you want to watch the stream with without shoes, <laughs> become a member. And we'll have feet straight. No, God. Okay. Anyway, let's see now. We need... I think we got... Oh, do we need to go to the same house? No way. Oh. <sighs> do I at least have, like, my... How do I uh, equip stuff? Loadout. Um, okay, sanity pills. Okay, and photo camera. Okay, good. So now we have those ones, I think. Let's see. Yeah, good. Now we have sanity pills and a photo camera. Okay, that's good. <sighs> Babe, wake up. Clock is live. I like being clock. All right, we're gonna grab a little flashy flushy. That looks like a pipe. Uh, okay. So first one is just to figure out ghost. It only answers to when you are alone. Well, that's fine, because I'm very alone. I have no friends. Uh, let, let's grab, like, the spirit box and the EMF. That seems to be, like, a good start, right? Right? Yeah, let's do it, baby. Okay. Is it going to be the same house? I think it's the same house. That's good, because now I'm a little bit prepared on the jump scares, which means I'm probably still going to poop my pants, but maybe some of the stuff is going to be similar, right? Right? <clears throat> okay, let's... Uh, Oh, right, this is a generator. I always forget this, like, this little weird pre-room. Um... Okay, so... <laughs> ah! What the fuck?! Why is it different?! I was like, Haha, I'm gonna go turn on the light, be because then the girl is gonna pop up and I can be like, Wow, that wasn't jump-scared at all. Oh my god, okay. Well, does this still happen? <laughs> oh! It's blurping. Okay. Okay, is it over here? Oh? Maybe it's here? It's right here in the corner. I don't think it's EMF5. It's like four though, it's very close. It's weird, it's right here. Okay, now I think it kind of disappeared. Okay, but th then it seems like the cursed room is like right here, right? That seems to make sense. Uh, what what songs to ghost like? Wonderwall wasn't very well received last time. <clears throat> Let's try something else. Um, like uh, call me Slimmy Jimmy Bobby Boy and I mess with my friends a lot, but that's it because I dig it so damn and I clown when I smoke my pot, yeah. Together we done so much fun shit, the days I remember the half. But that's you because of the baby girl, most of the time I was drunk of my ass. But that's you because of the baby girl, most of the time I was drunk of my ass. And if you wanna hear the rest, baby, listen to the story as it goes on. Sing it to your nice, cause I wanna size with you like a rice, can I come along? Sing it to your nice, cause I wanna size with you like a rice, can I come along? I don't think so. Thank you so much, Sunsu, for the 10, you beautiful bean. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for dropping by. And Trash Can, thank you so much for the 10. Gip, huh? Hey there, demons. It's me, ya boy. I don't get... Is this supposed to be like the demon room, right? Okay, so maybe it isn't this one. Let's get some other tools. Because <clears throat> I'm assuming you get the EMF when you're, like, in the ghost room, right? Right? God, this might, might, be, might be a tricky one. Sing some BSB. Oh my. Chat is really like, mmm. Oh yes, indeed. Wonderwall is the ultimate rizzing soundtrack. It is indeed. You know, after a certain point, you get to, you get to the point where, like, Wonderwall becomes new again. Because there's enough people that are going to be too young to have heard it. So, 
I was actually considering doing that. You know, if you're ever at like a family midsummer gathering or something and, you know, people listen and you have some like 12 year old be like, oh, my God, did you write that song? And you're going to be like, yeah, yeah, I did <laughs> because they wouldn't know. <laughs> anyway, what's my sanity at? 98% holy crap is actually doing well. Okay, let's uh, let's check for Actually, let's dump this one and check for for the UV things, right? That's a good idea <clears throat> Oh my god <laughs> In the middle of singing just so anyway, here's Wonderwall. Yeah, basically. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh Goo Goo Dolls Iris. Oh, that's so nice. That is such a nice song It's also like uh, Wait, Iris, is that the one like that goes? Do give up forever? You're the closest heaven that I've ever been, and I don't wanna go home right now. And all I can taste is this sweet, and all I can breathe is your love. And sooner or later, it's over. And I just don't want to miss you again Cause I don't want to Oh Camera! Well, is EMFing to four? That's promising Show yourself, you little titty bag uh, ah! Do I need to move around with this thing, maybe? Maybe I should do that Maybe I should, like, walk around with this with this To make sure I'm not missing a five no, oh, it's gone again. Ah, oh, god damn it! But it seems like here's a hot spot, right? So I picked a good spot. Uh, let's look around for some UV stuff. Ah. <clears throat> uh, what are we supposed to be looking for? Like fingerprints or something? I guess. Hmm. I'm not sure if it touched anything though. Did it? Cause I don't want the world to see me. EMF jumped to 5 for a split second. It did? Are you sure it was 5 and not 4? I mean, let's put it down for now. We don't really have any other clues anyway, so boop. Acel canvas drawing. ESG ghost reaction. Okay. Well, let's bring the rest of the tools, shall we? Uh, we can dump the camera here too, probably. <laughs> ah, trash can thank you. I don't get what's with demons or ghosts and possessing you and running for your life. I do that fine enough on my own. At least this time I'll have an excuse. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Uh, sorry I was acting so weird today, boss. I was possessed. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> Alright, perfect. Then I'll then I'll trust chat that EMF was five. So let's bring this bad boy. Sanity is actually doing well. That's super good. Ah, uh, maybe the random events you interact with are like draining sanity, so we do less of that this round, maybe we'll survive. So I'm supposed to place this one down, I think, and do the spinny spin. Okay, let's see, baby. Let's see. Alright, let's put it like here, where the hot spot is at. How do, I, how do I place it down? E? E as in, yeah, get down there. No? How did I place it last time? The frick? Uh. Oh, maybe I just... Oh, I just G it. G as in... Get over there. Alright, uh, then I can look around with this little thing, I guess. So, with this thing, I think we can find ectoplasm splashes. Which looks like a little lump of white stuff. Which, if anyone tells you that ec ectoplasm when you're about to rent a hotel room, don't trust them. It's bullshit. Um, Raven, thank you so much for being a member. I still have your uwu song as a ringtone. Hell! Ah! Thank you! Pinko, thank you for gifting five memberships to Janet! It's a haunted little shit bag! God, take a photo of it! Does that do any- It turned off the light! Does that mean we have like- God! Does that mean we might have fingerprints? Maybe we have fingerprints. Yeah, it's still moving! Take more pictures of it! Prove it to the world! <sighs> okay, uh, can you stop? Fuck! Okay, well, it did turn off the light. Oh, yeah, that's very much a fingerprint, I think. Am I supposed to take a picture of that? I guess so. Well, okay, well, that's a very, very obvious fingerprint, isn't it? 
Can I, like, put this here? And it will, like, no, it doesn't light it up. Okay, we have fingerprints, at least. So that's very good. Fingerprint! Bing bong. Schmickety bookity. Excellent. Uh, now we just need... Is this the voice box? Oh, yeah, we tried that. But no luck. Maybe it needs a different song. What's what's another good, like, song that we can do? Um... Go- OH! Fucking- Oh! God! Damn it! <sighs> Alright, um, uh... Uh... You read my message in Demon Com- Yeah, yes. It was hard. It was difficult, Raven. Uh. Hanging tree, that's good. That's, like, uh... Morbid enough. <clears throat> right? Um, maybe the ghost will be angry, but we'll try it. Like, are you, are you, coming to the tree? They strung up a man, they say you might have three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be. If we met at me, night in the hanging tree. Are you, are you, coming to the tree? Dead man called out for his love to flee. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be. If we met at midnight in the hanging tree. Are you, are you, coming to the tree? Dead class of hope side by side with me. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be. We met at midnight in the hanging tree. Very ungrateful ghost. God damn it. Alright, maybe, maybe I need to be like more edgy. It's like, SHOW YOURSELF! Well, that was anticlimactic. I think this is one more clue. Maybe, does it need to be dark for it to respond? Is that a thing? Do I need to turn everything off because, because it has to be spooky? God, I hope not. Swiggity swoogity. What about the booty? How are you doing today, Mr. Ghost? Um... <clears throat> we can do like, uh... Oh, well, what is this? I think I found love within. Deep inside your heart and soul, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, Frozen. It's like, Frick it all! Frick it all! Don't need your shit anymore! Frick it all! Frick it all! Na 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 slam the door! I don't care! <clears throat> Something like that, yeah. My grades never bothered me anyway. Goodbye. Um, I, I'm, I'm feeling this last clue is a little bit elusive, isn't it? Maybe we need to look around more with this weird glass thing. Maybe it, maybe it splooshed some ectoplasm, right? Maybe it has some ectoplasm in this laundry bag. <gasps> oh! The painting fell down! Holy poo! <laughs> ah! Ah! The fuck! Oh! Frick it all, frick it all, don't need your shit anymore. Frick it all, frick it all. <laughs> God, what was that? Why did you do that to me? Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, where's the ectoplasm supposed to be anyway? I don't like this. I felt down to my toes. I did too. I feel it in my spine. It's like it's tingling. Oh, it's very cursed. I don't see any ectoplasm either. Um, I think you get a penalty if you get the ghost wrong, so I really want to get the clues right, you know? But this one doesn't seem to react. The fingerprint is done. Voice box doesn't seem to work. Do we have any other tools? I'm gonna dump this and see if we have anything left. Like, what, what possible tools could it be, you know? What, what could it be that we have left? Oh, it's late where you are. Eternal hope, I do hope you sleep well. Even after this demonic stream, oh yes indeed. Mwah. Have an amazing rest of your night. I almost went into f <laughs> fight mode, but remember that I was watching this on a screen. Yeah, I know, right? That's kind of how I feel too. 85%, we're doing quite well. What what, what other clues could it be? E Easel canvas drawing, the frick does that? Oh, oh, is that like a, like a ghost riding thing? We have to have, like, a can. Okay, we don't have that. It's not freezing temps. So I can cross that out. 
I think this is the spinny one. Okay, it's not that one. I'm pretty sure it's not that one. It's pretty sure it's not that one. So then it must be the tool we don't have. I'm pretty sure this is the one. Must be. Okay? Okay, perfect. Then, maybe we can do some more stuff. Collect ghost orbs, read the lost note, and find the sitting human silhouette using the ectoplasma glass. Oh, we got some sanity back when we guessed the ghost. Hell yeah. Okay, then I don't need to use the pills just yet. So we can go back in and look for the note. Maybe we'll get more XP. Wow. Canvas is there by default. Is it? Did I just miss it? Whoops. Oh, is that the canvas? All right, sure. Let's bring that inside and see if it actually works. Then we'll then we'll be sure. I don't think we can change our mind about the ghost now, though, which is a bit of a shame. You got some sanity back when you kiss the ghost? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Bearded Baron does a demonologist beginner video if you want to check out my... I'm Daniel. Part of the journey is failing. All right? Part of, part of the journey is failing. How do I do G? G as in get down there. I mean, I'm assuming this is going to work because there's no other clues it could be. Ooh! It's a ghost orb! Oh! Am I supposed to catch this? How do I catch it? Come here! Uh, oh, I think I caught it! Wow! Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Spam E. E! E! Okay, I got, I got kind of disoriented. Uh, oh, I'm in the kitchen now. Oh, was that another one I saw? Huh, I don't know. Uh, but I think that was it. I think I got the ghost orbs. Oh yeah, look at- Oh! It's another one! But it did get to- did do the painting. Look at that, wow. We were right. Okay, there's another ghost orb. I mean, three seems like a very game number, right? Oh! Come! Oh, it's spinning the chair! Stop that! Yeah! I like how I'm using my little, little camera like a gun. I don't like how he's moving the chair. It's very cursed. Okay. Uh, maybe I should pick this one up. Oh, shit. That's very scary. Okay. Uh, I, I need that last orb, though. Where's the orb? Give me the orb. It's so fast. Oh! Oh! Stupid. Okay, I'll just do this. I'll stand here and try to spam. Fuck. I got it! I think that was it. Okay, now we need to find the lost note, which is like a little piece of paper that's gonna be just vibing somewhere. And we also are looking for like a, whoops, like a silhouette with this thing. We're looking for a sitting silhouette and we're looking for a lost note. I'm assuming the sitting silhouette is gonna be in the chair, right? That, that makes sense. Like, even ghosts have a bit of class. Anonymous69, thank you so much for the five gifted you beautiful- Is this still gonna- yeah, it's still gonna do a thing. <laughs> I don't like you, but that was a different girl than last time, wasn't it? That's weird. Okay. It's very cursed, this place. Anonymous, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. You're amazing, Bean, this one is all for you. Mwah. Okay. Uh... I don't wanna... Is this the same thing again? It's like... Magna! Magna! You know what? I changed my mind. No, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do this shit. <sighs> Lost note could be in the basement because it's just that kind of house that would just like mess with you like that. Let's go check our sanity real quick so it's not going to complete poo. Hmm. I'm just checking all the chairs in case the ghost is vibing somewhere, but I haven't seen anything. Do I get points for pictures? I don't, I don't know, man. If it's an autistic ghost, it might be sitting on the floor or a bookshelf, though. That is very true. That is very true. We shouldn't ignore that possibility. That's very important. Spoopy house is spoopy. And... 63% <laughs> way we should pop some pills. Time to pop a little bit of the pills. Ooh, gee. Oh, there's only one pill in the whole bottle? What a scam. Feels like America Healthcare. Goddamn. Oh, 100% damn, that was good pills, though. Nice. Maybe it wasn't a scam. Okay. 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 What did we... Did we, did we complete one? We did! Oh! <gasps> That's nice. Okay. We can still do lost note and stuff. What's the last? Exercise the ghost. Jesus Christ. 
Mm. Find Whittaker's five missing fingers and place them in the ritual area. That sounds uh, complicated. I guess the ritual area is that like demonic thing in the basement. Well, let's let's start off with the orbs. Well, the orbs we done. Let's, let's let's find the silhouette and the note. That's like relatively straightforward quest because it's like you you just find it. You know, it's only one step to the quests. You know. Swiggity spooky. Coming for the booty, oh yeah. The swingity swoogity. Pow. Gotta da 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 booty. Da 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 pow. Click it, what's your opinion on OT not yassifying his mic? Ooh, is that a little voodoo doll? Am I supposed to touch it? Am I supposed to get this thing? Chat, am I supposed to touch the voodoo doll? I'm a little bit concerned. I don't know if I'm supposed to touch it. Maybe I should touch it. I'll touch it. Okay, maybe I can't touch it. I don't think I can touch it. <gasps> Ooh, the last note! Victoria had been looking forward to her wedding day for months. She had found a perfect dress, the perfect venue, the most importantly. <gasps> the perfect man! We'll read this later! Holy fuck! The perfect man so she little the perfect day would end in tragedy. The wedding day approaches, paranoia grew more and more. He convinced himself that Victoria was seeing someone else and she was planning to leave him. Victoria realized something was wrong. Her husband was acting strange, almost that he was a different person. Suddenly he attacked her, his jealousy and rage boiling over. Victoria fought back, but he was no match for him. He strangled her with the lace of her own wedding dress, leaving her lifeless body on the bed and abandoned the house for years. The house remained abandoned, the place. Oh, is this the house? Is that why there's a wedding dress in the in the bedroom? That sucks. But locals began to notice strange occurrences, the sound of a woman weeping, laughing, screaming, the sight of a ghastly figure in a wedding dress wandering the premises. It wasn't until years later that someone broke into the abandoned house and stumbled upon Victoria's wedding dress, finding it peculiar, well-maintained on display in the master bedroom. Her husband had been too sorrowful to destroy it, so he left it in there as a gruesome reminder of what he had done. Now anyone who enters the abandoned house is met with the haunting presence of Victoria, her ghost forever tied to her wedding dress, seeking revenge on the murderer. It is said, though, she remains vengeful for justice. She still clings to hope of finding her happily ever after, so much that her dream of the married life still resides locked behind the manifestation of her anger, blocked off and hidden to prevent her from passing on. Ah, oh, she's just she's just a little down bad. Alright, that's fine. You know, it's, it happens, man. It happens. Alright, let's see. So here's like the little cursed place that we're supposed to ritual. That's That's cute. I love myself a little bit of cursed rituals. Is this the silhouette? Well, that's fun. Uh, okay. Why is there a random little little like thing in the corner? Why is? Hmm. All right. Well, we're brave alpha males. We can do. I don't. Uh, does this lead anywhere? Am I supposed to sit in this? Well, I don't. Still, I still haven't found a silhouette though. I found the cursed note though, which is nice. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what is this? I like this though. I don't like I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way. I did find the, that one though. That was very good. I'm proud of myself. Good to see everybody in you click. Uh Yif Yeet. <laughs> thank you so much, Clowns, you beautiful bean. Ebenezer, thank you so much for, for the for the for the gib you beautiful bean fronds for the throat soothing drinks for when you're done screaming today. Thank you very much. I'm very glad that you're very understanding of my uh current predicaments. Maybe the sitting silhouette is upstairs. I mean, I'm just assuming it's gonna be a chair, you know? I'm just assuming. Maybe I'm assuming too much. Or is it sitting on a toilet? That'd be kind of funny. If there, is it a ghost? They died because the diarrhea was so intense. And they just died on the toilet. And they're... And they're cursed to just shit forever, you know? That'd be fun. That'd be a fun twist. I still haven't found the silhouette. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Like, it's very elusive. I feel like I've checked most of the house by now, haven't I? Click, clock. Smick, smock, goes the flock. I like how the power is still turned on. Like, this house has been abandoned as a murder scene for like a decade, and the power is still turned on. They have a very generous uh, power company, for sure. Ooh, this looks... Oh yeah, we were here, right? Oh yeah. Oh! 
Oh, we found the silhouette! Oh, he wasn't actually in a chair, but like a... Ooh, that's spooky. It's like... Like a skeleton, kind of. Yeesh, okay, well, we found the silhouette at least, that's good. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to take a picture, I'll, I'll do it just because. Right, like this is not moving, imagine the silhouette like walking towards you or something. Oh, there's one of the fingers! Can I pick this up? Maybe I'm supposed to like... Oh, oh, ugh. Okay, I have to like bring one at a time. There's another one. Oh my god, there are so many. Okay, that's two. And there's supposed to be five of them. That's how we exercise the ghost, I think. Should we do it? Should we actually go? <laughs> I think that means good. That's a good sound. That's a very good sound. There's supposed to be five of these fingers. That's a lot. Is something hiding back here? I can't go here, it's blocked off. Okay. Alright, I have no idea what my sanity is like, though. Eating fingers is how you get demon infected. Yeah, no shite. I think so, too. <laughs> I haven't seen any other fingers, though. Or Oh, there's one. Or are they, like, spawning now when I picked up the first ones? I'm not sure how the mechanics work. Um, We're making good headway, though. Oh! Oh my god! Bruh! There's a child! Huh. That's awful. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna run around here, check real quick for a thingy. Maybe there's another one in here somewhere? Because we didn't check all the way inside. Oh, that's ominous. Ah, please. Alright. Ah! Oh, that's fine, it's just moving chairs. They do that sometimes, you know, chairs, they're very frolicky creatures. Uh, uh. Is there a finger over here somewhere? Maybe. A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff is like moving around. Oh god, I'm getting shivers. I'm getting shivers. I have no idea where the fingers are though. I found one more. So that's good, but. We're still missing two. Do not die now, please, chat. God. Sanity low, maybe? Yeah, I think I should go and check my sanity after I put this one down. Just see if it's feasible to finish this. <sighs> the door slammed, too? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, let's head back out, check our sanity. Because it might be very low by now. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Oh, I guess I can actually move my face cam a bit. I just realized it's very much smack in the middle. There we go, that's better. Oh, God. <laughs> Why don't you hunt demons in daylight? I know, right? This game always insists on, like, doing... Okay, 60% is not too bad, actually. We've completed everything. I wish I had one more sanity pill. That would have been great. <sighs> oh, well, we can go for one last run, I think. We can go for one last run. Our sanity is 63%. It's not super low. I think we can do this. I think we can do this. <clears throat> we only have two fingers left to find. So what parts haven't we found? The activity is concerning. Then <laughs> Let's go and die. No, don't, don't, be, don't be like that, chat. Don't be like that. We can do this. We're good bins. Okay, one finger was here. So I don't think it's going to be more around this area. Oh! What's that? Well, something said BOOSH! I'm not sure if that was the, like, random skull appearing, or if it was something else. Okay. Well, 60% isn't too low, right? 60% is pretty good. It's a majority. We have more brain than lack of brain. Um... And there are no fingers here. Yeah, nothing here. And we did check over there. And I'm pretty sure we checked in the basement, too. What parts haven't we carefully checked yet? Maybe like, yeah, but here's where we found one finger, I think. And here's the workshop. Yeah, I think we picked up everything here too, right? Pretty sure. Here's where the shade was. Um, all right. Let's do a quick run upstairs and check. Oh, here's a door we haven't checked. Okay, good. Oh, it's this room. Oh, I hate this room. Okay. Uh, maybe there's one in here. 
Somewhere. Oh, <gasps> there's one. Okay. Okay, we're only missing one. We're only missing one. Oh yeah, maybe in here. Have we found one in here? I don't think so, right? Um. Oh, come on. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, we got both of them. Okay, let's go, 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 go. To the basement, to the basement. Why do we walk so slow? God, we're so close. We're so close, Chad. We are so freaking close. Oh my god. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. This is for your best. This is for your own good, demon. Does that mean the ghost is gone? I'm gonna get out of here just to be safe, but... Does that mean we did it? Did we actually do it? Oh! Was she dragged to hell? That's very sad. She was a murder victim. God. We did it! <laughs> Woo! Hell yeah, baby. Wow. I'm proud of myself. Let's get in the car before we get eaten alive. Oh my god, this is so good, chat. Yes. I hope we got the ghost type right, but I'm pretty sure we did. Oh my god, we nailed it! Look at this! Everything! Find the correct ghost type, collect ghost orbs, read the lost note, find the sitting human silhouette, and exorcism. We did everything. Everything. Wow. And we're level three. <gasps> I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself for that one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, baby. Okay, how much, uh, how, much, how much cash money do we have? We have like 30,000 bucks. <gasps> we can customize. We can buy the cat. Oh, my God. You can have a pet turtle. Oh. Does the turtle also get fatter the longer it eats? I want a turtle. I really want that turtle. Oh, oh my god. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, look how poopy it is. It's so cute and poopy. We can have a chicken for some reason. And a flamingo. <laughs> that's very... That's the most random one. I don't think I've ever had or heard of anyone having a flamingo as a house pet. But turtle. <gasps> also a puppy. Look at... And kitty. Oh. Oh my god. Buy a cat. I can't afford it, though. I can buy a table, but I can't buy a cat. Cats are expensive. Customized character. Yeah, we can also get like swag, but I don't know what else we want in terms of swag. Like we already have pants, and we don't need anything else. Capris Quiscus Aquarius. Thank you so much for the three. You're beautiful. Being an alien ace cat. Thank you for the five. Mwah. You're beautiful. Being a uh, racist turtle. <laughs> Is the turtle racist? <laughs> I hope not. <gasps> a sweet, fluffy friend who will live with you in your safe house. I'm not sure if sweet, fluffy friend is how I would describe a turtle. It doesn't have a lot of fuss. I think it's just the same default description. Apparently chicken is also fluffy. And the flamingo. At least the refrigerator isn't a sweet fluffy friend. It keeps your food and beer cold. Many types of music to cheer things up a bit. Uh, sounds nice. A sofa. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff we can get. Oh, real estate. Yeah, these are the houses we can buy. The pub. The lighthouse. Penthouse, wow. Imagine if, like, real-life house prices were like this, chat. Imagine if you could get, like, a proper penthouse for 50 grand. Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing? You can buy a pub property for 9k? Bruh. Uh, bruh. It's free real estate. It really is. It's basically free real estate. Man, the market pricing in this haunted neighborhood has really crashed. And right now, I'm just, like, working out of my mom's kitchen or something like that, it looks like. Apart from, like, some stuff being a little bit decrepit. Can I actually see where I'm at? It's raining outside. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm, like, in a random alleyway or something. Huh, that's cool. <clears throat> the lights are really bad. We need to install new light bulbs, man. These are, like, some, some low-energy 
last decade light bulbs that don't do anything. Oh, <gasps> we have eggs! Admitted, the whole reason you hunt demon is to buy pets. Indeed it is. That's what makes it worth it. Imagine when I have all the pets. Imaru, thank you so much for joining the Royal Lasso Squad. That's way too generous. Thank you so very much. You beautiful being this one is all for you. Mwah. And Nuti Place, thank you so much for the uwu and the two. Oh, these are, this is all the, like the equipment we can get. Oh yeah, we should buy some more equipment, right? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Real estate. Uh, let's see. I want to get like one more sanity pill, I think. And we have the camera. Uh, what else could we need? Hmm. I think we're pretty fine for now, actually. As long as we play solo, I think we might have enough stuff, you know? I think it might be fine. Gabby, thank you so much for being a member for two months. You're beautiful. Being. Hope you're doing well. Click. I'm doing very well. Thank you. It's always a nice vibe to stream here. It's always nice. I risk my life hunting ghosts so they can have a good life. Yeah, basically, the pets can have a good life. I will probably die horribly. But as long as there's an adoption plan, it's fine. Ooh, we have Cyclone Street. This sounds awful. This is something coming soon. That sounds terrible. Okay. Start. Sli Cyclone Street. Have I been here before? Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. Um, let's start EMF this one and maybe just wait. What are the what are the things we need to do? Yeah, discover ghosts. Find the time of the ghost death. Ectoplasma glass. Okay. Read the lost note. Upload the computer data. Is that this one, or is it something in the house? That's unclear. Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, that's very good. Let's let's bring the voice box. I guess that's fine. Cyclone Street. Named after windy stuff. Ooh, this mission is gonna take the wind out of me. Is there like a, like a demonic altar in there? That doesn't look good. That's not very inviting. If you're having guests over, skip the demonic altars, fam. God damn. Come on. Jeesh. That's a really bad programming. Do I have beer left? I have a bit of beer left. Mmm. Glory. Mm. The most recent politician to use the uwu was Zelensky in response to Putin's demand to surrender. Uwu, I'm so scared, Mr. Putin. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my god, I love the edits that people made of Zelensky. Uh, because he used to be a comedian and stuff. And there are scenes of him like just running around with Uzis. Like shooting like a maniac. It's super funny. <laughs> It's so good. He's such a fucking chat. Okay, let's see. Um, so we're still looking for your haunted room. Oh, whoa. Maria room. Oh, yeah, I remember someone talked to me about this, that this is like some kind of puzzle. Okay. There's no, like, ghost stuff yet, though. Oh, there's the doll. I think we should take a picture of that, right? That's the point. Hmm. Let's come back with the camera in a bit. What was the other tool we brought? Oh, yeah, the voice box. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh! Limbo. Ho! Oh, I fixed it. Ah, uh, it's good now. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. I have no reflection. That means I'm a vampire. I'm a sassy vampire. Oh, yes, indeed. Click most important question. Can you pet the cockroach? Probably. I mean, I can't with the controls, but... We will come for you. We will come for you. Not in the dirty way, chat. Get your mind out of the gutter. We will come for you! Alright, well, fine. It doesn't do anything. What a scam. <laughs> Blasphemy! Oh, why is there, like, skelly things hanging? That's a very odd choice of decoration. Like, <laughs> let's have a bunch of crosses and bones on our walls. I think that's, like, nice swag, Courtney. It's, like, what all the hip people want in their house. You know? 
animal bones and crosses. You know, the combination is just staggering. How fascinating. I don't think there is anything in here. Apart from the doll, we should come back. I'm not, are you supposed to take a picture of the doll? I guess that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe we're supposed to do that. Of course, it's the dirty way. They have noticed the attractive alpha male. Oh, yeah. Oh, the alpha male. I'm just alphaing my way through this house. Is there actually much stuff to this house apart from that basement? It feels like it's very tiny. Am I missing? Oh, yeah, maybe there's... Ah, oh, there's a staircase. Okay, that's why. That's why I was like, this is super tiny. 999 watching uwu. It's upside down. That's 666. What was that noise? Is someone home? Ooh, it's blorping. Okay, is it in here? Oh, maybe. It's a little bit unclear. It was definitely over here somewhere. Could be MF5. It's very close. Oh! Something creaked very loudly. Oh! What is even opening and closing? Maybe it was this door. Oh, that's creepy. Come on. Don't... Oh, not the kids' room. Dear God. Oh! Is it a haunted closet? Is the ghost in the closet? Ah! Okay, okay. That was... That was Happy Pride, everyone. Okay, let's see. Um, well, I think it's definitely in there. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely the ghost room. It's giving me very BP effects. Yeah, let's put it on the bed here so we can see it. Huh! Okay, let's try to do a bit of talky. Uh, let's see. Let me think of a... Let me think... Oh, God. Let me think of a nice song here. Let me think of a nice song. Uh, let's keep an eye on the EMF. <clears throat> um, what song do you think it's going to like? What song do you think it's gonna like? It's like, it's, uh, pfft, it, maybe it's a bit of a... Ah! Did it lock the door? I opened this for you, ghost. Maybe, oh, maybe it's gonna be fingerprints. I should go get the fingerprints thing before I forget. Let's do that first while we think of a song for the ghost. Sweet Home Alabama. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the on the style of the ghost. Oh, maybe Country Roads. Maybe it's like a, like an old school ghost. Then I think Country Roads would be good for it, right? Let's bring the cam as well, we're at it. 87% sanity, we're fine. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Shenandoah River. Life is old there. Older than the trees. Younger than the mountains. Blowing like a breeze. Country roads. What was that, like, sticky noise? Ew. Oh. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. I think that means good. That definitely means good. Alright, I don't see any fingerprints, though, which is a bit of a shame. This is the door it touched. But I don't see anything. Hmm. Well, let's leave the lights on and see if it touches anything else. In the meantime, let's do this. We can do, like, some country roads. What about Highway to Hell? That's also a good idea. This is legit the only way I can enjoy this freaking song. I'm a Wuvian. This is our st ah! state song. What on earth? <clears throat> what? Sorry? Uh, so anyway, um... Ahem. <clears throat> country roads... Take me home. Oh! Oh! It's a little demon! Ah! Ah, no! It's sad. It said, please leave me alone. Holy shit, that's scary. Okay. Uh, anyway, let's... Uh, <laughs> it was... Uh, um... Spirit box, for sure. Oh yeah, we still need to place this one down. I'm gonna hold this for a bit, just in case it's EMF5. There's a lot of stuff moving. It's a very touchy ghost. It's a country roads take me home to the place that I belong, West Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home. Country roads. 
Oh, country roads take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia, mountain mama, take me home. Yeah. Country roads. Let's check for fingerprints again, just to be safe, just to be sure. Because now it's touched some stuff, right? It touched some light stuff and switches. Touch some doors. I think it was being a little bit a little fingery over here. Nope, nothing here. Okay, I don't think it's fingerprints. Pretty sure it's not fingerprints. Alright. Alright then. Ugh. Let's go get some more stuff. Vega, thank you so much for being a last so you're beautiful being this one as well for you. Mwah. Oh yes indeed. Mm. <clears throat> we got some song stuff going on. Can't we watch? Take me home. Oh oh. Now shall I shall. Slurby derby, snurgle durgle, herb and derb, smurby derb. Ghosts be vibing after getting a house, but then the living keep coming in, so have to kill them to be left alone. It's just a very antisocial ghost. That's pretty sad. And we just keep bothering it, like, hi there, how are you? Okay, ectoplasm could be a thing. Are we supposed to look at this with a light or without a light? I don't know for sure. Ooh, no, that was... Doesn't seem to be anything on the canvas. Hmm. It's a very touchy ghost. I'm surprised it isn't like fingerprints because it's been it's been very very fondly of the doors. It's it's a bit of a door fondler, right? <clears throat> Went to see my boo after a month and found out he got some of his memes from your videos. He called you the Swedish guy. No, not PewDiePie. I imagine I lamoud. Thank you so much for the fire. You're beautiful being. This one is all for you. Mwah. That's a that's a good clarification. <laughs> uh, the amount of TikTok comments that call me like, "Oh look, it's the it's the Walmart PewDiePie," and I'm like, "Ah, oh, damn it." <laughs> uh, I do enjoy myself a bit of brand banter though. Let's see. Um, I don't see any like uh, stuff with that thing, sadly. Well, we got the spinny thing going. What? Ah! Oh, holy shit! What was the Oh, look! It's a deer ghost. Oh! Oh, dear! <laughs> wow! That was fun. You and Pewds have very different accents, it seems. I think it's just how you learned English, to be honest, and then it just kind of sticks. I have friends that went to the UK, for example, to study abroad, and their accent is very different as well. It's like a mix between Swedish and, and British. It's very funny. Wee! Blump. Did I fix my brain? It kinda did! Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, pfft. I don't think it's freezing temps, right? It hasn't done this thing. I'm very sure it's not fingerprints by now. What's ESG? Oh, that's a spinny thing, maybe. And I don't think it's ectoplasm. It should be a boogie. I'm not sure. What is the ESG? EMF 5 could be. We have gotten 4. So it could be EMF. Bring the picture camera, I guess. A um, little bit unsure. Wouldn't it be awkward for the ghost to kill someone because they were in the house, but now the new ghosts start haunting the same house? Yeah, and it just gets very crowded. Isn't that the story of, like, the hunting of Hill House place? Oh my god, it's moving drawers. Click, click, say cheese. Well, nothing there. The only thing we really got was like the the oomph. Well, the oomph was like four, what we saw. Fingerprints doesn't. Let's search, check for ectoplasm and just be safe. Are we? Whoops. <laughs> Maybe it's better to check without the flashlight. I don't know. I'm not really sure what it would be though. Feels like such a scam. It's like, oh, look around the room with this UV light. It's pro- <laughs> It's totally ectoplasm! The frick! Stop that! Here, have this one. It's an offering. Chill out. There's some random book here on the floor. That's weird. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what other clues it could be. We got the voice box. I mean, maybe it could be EMF5? I, I think so, because I'm pretty sure it's not fingerprints at this point. It's definitely not the drawing. It's been there forever. It's not freezing temps, it would have had breathy breathy. And ESG? Isn't this- is this the ESG? 
Is it ESG? ESG is like dots. The ghost will T-pose over it. Yeah, isn't this the isn't this the one? I think that's the one, right? But it's been here for a while. It's like, uh, show yourself. Touch the ESG. I need my clue, please. Touch it, boy. No? All right. Oh, it moved something. Let's check for fingerprints again, I guess. Might as well, because it's been very fondly. I'm surprised it hasn't left fingerprints, because it's been very fondly above doors and lights. Ooh, it's been a lot of fondles. A lot of little fondles. But there is nothing here. There's no trace of the fondling. Isn't that just very freaking convenient? <sighs> well, all right. Let's uh, let's move around the house a bit, see if we can find some other cool stuff. <clears throat> Maybe we should just like assume we have the clue. Like I'm gonna assume it's this one. What else could it be? What else could it be realistically be? Right? Uh, I don't think it's freezing temps. Pretty sure it's not. I don't think it's the painting. I'm pretty. I fingerprints. It couldn't be anyway. So that's good. We have canceled that out. I mean, as live it's this one spirit box we have. Yeah. Hmm. Then I think it's probably this one. Yeah, maybe we should just do that and, and assume we have the ghost, right? Because right now it feels he's just stagnating the rest of the process, which is annoying. Check for ectoplasm in the bathroom. I think we did, didn't we? No, maybe we didn't. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Ectoplasm in the bathroom. I don't think there is any ectoplasm in the bathroom. I don't see any ectoplasm in the bathroom. What a bummer. Uh, titty butts. A figure will appear above ESG, but it disappears quickly. It's difficult to catch unless you watch the device constantly. The device draws ghosts to it, which will decrease the sanity of players. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen it go off before when I played with the voice. So, I'm just gonna assume I haven't stared at it long enough, right? <clears throat> it's fine. It's probably this one. It, it's a bogey. Yep, it's a bogey. It's probably a bogey. All right, beautiful. It's a bogey. Okay, let's see now. Ectoplasm glass to find the time of the ghost's death. Read the lost note and upload the computer data. All right, we need a little... Oh, did I dump the glass? Oh, I dumped the glass. I'm an idiot. Oh, fuck. Okay, all right, fine. Well, Cyclone Street, I'm coming back in, baby. Should sing for it so we can listen at the same time. That's not a bad idea. Tra la 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 la. Where did I put the little glass thing? I tossed it somewhere, I remember. <laughs> God damn it, did I lose it? <laughs> I only have one. Ah. Where did I drop it? <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we need it. For science. Frick. Do, am, I, am I holding it? No, I'm not holding it. Uh. Where did I drop it? That's the voice box. Do you remember where I dropped it? Chat? Maybe it's like underneath this one. Oh yeah, it's underneath this one. Okay, that's what it was. That explains why it was hard to find. I got it. I got it. Okay, so we're supposed to look for... Uh, what was the thing? Did I drop my flashlight by accident? I think I did. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay, this flashlight. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, so we're looking for curse note. And we're looking for the time of death. That's right. Are we supposed to find a clock and it's like drawn on the clock? Like, I died at five. Like, ooh. Good. <laughs> I, I guess that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Wait, is there a clock upstairs? Maybe. Uh, maybe there's a clock in here. An office seems like a clock place, right? Well, apparently not. Why would you put a clock in your, in your logical room? Oh! Yeah, I'm supposed to do this, right? Upload the data. This is so relatable. The timer keeps just, like, being a little poo-poo. Do I have to sit here for all this? Or can I, like... I think it's still making progress. That's good. Okay, we can keep looking around with time and stuff. Gah. Uh. Duh. 
Okay, is there a clock in here that I missed? I don't, I don't think so. I doubt it, honestly. Nah. Hmm. Well, t posing machine doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh. Smile! Oh. That's cool. Oh, it's almost done! Hell yeah. Cool. Look with the ectoplasm. I'm looking for the ectoplasm. Or maybe it's like written with ectoplasm on the wall somewhere. Like, I died at five. Maybe that's the thing. Oh! <gasps> wow. Is it done? Oh, I think it's done. Okay, I, th I think it just... Okay, we don't need to do anything else. It it's just completed. Okay, that's cool. I thought I was going to have to pick up the USB or something. Nice, we got the quest. I think if we got the ghost wrong, we get a penalty, though, on the, like, rewards for the missions after that. So, that's a bit of a bummer. But we'll see. This place seems safe. I'm gonna go down here. Ooh, I like the safety of demonic dungeons. Oh, yeah, the doll was in here, right? I always remember there was something I should, like, pop a picture of, like this one. Patouche. Oh, was that a note? Oh, the note! I found the note! Mariah had never known a life outside the small room. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> sucks to be you, Mariah. Oh, let's see, where is the time of death? Mariah. Come on, Mariah. It's not so hard. Point on the clock when you died. Do you have a clock? Maybe that should have been a first, like, uh, you know, thing to consider before we uh, accepted these quests. Mariah, you little silly creature. Is there a clock in here? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it's in the room. Maybe it's in Mariah's room. Is it here? Is there supposed to be, like, a clock somewhere in here? That's a creepy looking room, man. Uh, I don't see anything. Nah, I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Use this thing to find out the time of death. I am guess I'm just looking for something, right? I'm just looking for, like, a clue. Looking for the clue. Well, let's go check our sanity, shall we? Before we succumb to death. There are so many good places in the house where you can have a clock. And there's no clock. Disgusting. It's sad that the bitrate is making the game funky. Oh, is the bitrate bad? It looks fine on my end. Let me, let me take a look real quick. Let me take a look real quick what it looks like. Uh, zwiggity zwiggity. Let's see. Oh, that's an ad. I don't need, I don't need that. <laughs> No clock for click. The time should just be written on the wall. Okay, then we just need to explore enough walls, basically. Alright, that's fine. We can do that. Now, the bitrate looks okay on my browser. It looks pretty good, actually. That looks pretty okay. I, it, it's a little bit bad when, when I move around. Okay. Yeah, that's a shame. I mean, it's not terrible, but it could be better. I wonder why that is. I would have, I'll have to check some... Uh, some some settings before next stream to make sure it doesn't happen again. I mean, it's acceptable, I suppose, but it should be better. 64%, let's pop some little bit of sanity, shall we? Oh, yes, indeed. Poppity poopity. Oh, my God, yes. I mean, we've completed two of these ones. So now we're just looking for the time of the ghost's death. Set the time of the ghost's death to the hanging clocks. Okay. I haven't found any hanging clocks though, but so we're looking for something random on the walls. Okay, if we be if we're a bit efficient, maybe we can get this done actually. So it's supposed to be a time of death written on the wall somewhere, and then we're supposed to attach that to the clocks. Or do we have to like to look? But I'm pretty sure you can see the ectoplasm with the light. Oh, there is. Eleven fifty. I think that's the noise of the quest being completed. Nice. Okay, the hanging clock. Oh, here's one. Okay. So I think we just, like, uh, where's my mouse? 
Oh, there, okay. So it was 11.50. 11.55? So like, that, I guess? Yeah, it must be that. It was 11.55, right? Yeah, 11.55, okay. Uh, let's see, where are the other clocks? There was one of them. Are there more clocks upstairs? Oh, wait. Was that one? No. I could have sworn I didn't see that clock before. Did it appear now? That's creepy. Oh! Okay. He likes his drawers. He's a playful little one, Demon Timmy. Oh my god. 11.55, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's good. Oh! Yeah, look, you see, I got the clue right. He was T-posing above the thing. Hell yeah, I'm a, I'm a legend. Oh, there's another clock. Yeah, they appear now. That's actually pretty good, because it means I only have to move the clock like one small step. That's perfect. Yeah, let's be a bit fast and efficient. Let's be a bit fast and efficient. Let's look for the clocks. That's really tricky, though. So the clocks have appeared now. They weren't there before, so I can't, like, get them from memory. So, ooh, hello. Ooh, little creepy door. Sure, I'm out of here. Don't mind me if I do. Alrighty, yo. Let's see now, baby. We got ourselves a little bit of clocking time. Oh, yeah. I don't see any clocks in here. That's perfectly fine. Let's go into the spoopy, cursed, haunted shit basement. That sounds fun, doesn't it, Timmy? Ooh, love myself a bit of... Ooh, what is this? Do I have to set the time here? Nope. It's only the hangy clocks. There's no hangy clocks here? Probably one in the shitty bedroom over here, right? Everyone loves a little bit of hangy clock in the creepy bedroom. Ooh, is there a hangy clock? Is there no hangy clock? This is the perfect room for a hangy, creepy clock. Is there no creepy hangy clock? God, that's weird. Alright, let's go in here then, instead. Here's one. Boop. Perfect. Oh! <gasps> I think that means yes. Did we do it? We did the quest. I'm still like a bit weirded out about Maria's room. She was supposed to be there her whole life, right? It's a very strange room. Alright, I think we did it. I think we did it. Yeah. <sighs> I think that was it. I think we got the quest. So Maria's little demon? That's a weird baby. Owl Gardener, thank you so much for the last one. You're beautiful in this one. is only mwah. Mm, yes, indeed. Are there jump scares in this game? Yes. <laughs> there are. Definitely. We did it! Oh my god, we're so good. Hell yeah, I'm going home, baby. Woo! Yeah. Toss your camera in celebration is like when you toss your diploma. Yeah! I'm not very good at tossing. Whee! Let's go, baby! Booyah! No, booyah! <gasps> yes! I hope we got the ghost right, but I'm pretty sure. No! We didn't get the ghost right! No! What was a ghost? Iblis? The frick is a Iblis? Penalty minus 30% ghost typing, correct? Okay, minus 30%, but that's not too bad. We still got a little bit of cash money and the XP is fine. That's a shame. Owl's Gardener, you beautiful being. Mwah. What was your... What clue did I get wrong? It was probably EMF5 that we got wrong or something like that. Because we got the thing... Yeah, we got the talk box. We got the other clues. Yeah, which one is Iblis? Can I... Can I see which ghost type Iblis is? Do I have like a list here? Is there a way to see the ghost list? But then I guess I got... Uh, it wasn't EMF-5, it was something else. We just assumed it was EMF-5 because it was 4. So it must have been something else. I wonder what the other clue was. You can open the journal thing? Oh, I can, nice. Okay. Uh, so Ghibli. Uh, we, can, we can actually do this instead, evidence. So what we had, for sure, was the spirit box and the ESG. We saw both of those ones. So there's the Iblis. Okay, freezing temps is not... Ectoplasm, it's not. The canvas drawing? Really? But it was there forever. The canvas drawing sat there for like a solid 15 minutes. And it didn't touch it. What? That is scandalous. Dragon Lord, thank you so much. A beautiful being. This one is all for you. Mwah. What? It was there forever. That is so weird. Why didn't it draw? Hmm. That sucks. 
Oh, well, at least we got the rest of the stuff. I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, yes, indeed. What can we afford to buy? That's the important part. How is our property? We're, we only have 3,000 bucks. Why do we only have 3,000? Didn't we make a bunch of money? I could have sworn we had 3,000 bucks after last round. Didn't we make like 1,000 bucks at least, even with the penalty? God damn it. All right, all right. We spent a bit of we spent a bit of money before we started. That's why. They need a lot of time for drawing. But in the last house, they drew it in like a minute. God damn. All right, fine. All righty, though. <sighs> Cyclone Street. What level do we have to be for the next thing? Level 10? Holy shit. Oh, um, okay. This got kind of locked still. Yeah, level 5. Okay, minus if it was to pay by... Can we do, like, peaceful mode? There's no ghost. We just go looking for the note. <laughs> How much to buy the turtle? Let's check. 6k? Holy shit! Why is it so much? Clothes are cheap. I can buy, I can buy like, sunglasses for 50 bucks. And then the tools are like, you know, oh, gee, candle for $600. What 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 insane man would spend six hundred dollars on a candle? What the some of the uh, third third or third am I there? One thousand two hundred dollars. You can get a pretty decent gaming PC for one thousand two hundred dollars. <laughs> you didn't buy a little thermometer crucifix two thousand bucks. You get Jesus Christ, man! It's a it's a stick. It's a stick. Oh my god. I mean, geez, 2,000 bucks. You can almost buy an RTX 490 for this. What do I, what do I buy? An RTX 490? Or uh, two sticks that I put together? Yes, indeed. <sighs> I'm gonna save for the turtle, man. I'm gonna save for the turtle. I like my turtle. Alright, let's do the start. Wait, did I add my equipment? Whoops. Nope, I did not. Let's go back home. <laughs> Wait, maybe we can just guess the ghost. Can we guess the ghost? Just like, I think it's an Ashka. It's totally an Ashka, man. Yeah, baby, it's an Ashka. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Got it, baby. Oh, yeah, it was an Ashka. Not an Ashka. All right, that's that's fine. That's fine. All right, I, I forgot to add all my stuff. Uh, let's see now. Sanity pills and uh, photo camera. Hell yeah, baby. And then we select the uh, Cyclone Street, and we start. Perfect. <clears throat> the church has to make money off of you somehow, lol. Yeah, they sell uh, exorcism equipment. Wholesome. Okay. Um, uh, ghost type. And plasma gas to find the time of the ghost's death. Read a ghost note. Collect salt bags. Okay, this is a bit different. It wasn't salt bags last time. It was something else. What was it last time? I completely forget. It was the... It was a clock thing, right? No, that's the last one. I don't, I don't, I'm a senile. Whatever. Okay, uh, let's grab one of these bad boys. Let's grab a voice box and let's grab the EMF. That's that seems to be a pretty good start. All right, baby, let's do this. Bernadette, thank you so much for becoming a lasso. You're beautiful. And this one is all for you. Mwah. What is this? Am I supposed to touch this? That looks very cursed. Um, flame of fate. Don't touch it. Touch. Touch it anyways. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. Aggressive. Void. All of these seem bad. Flame of Fate. Is that one good? I have no idea what any of these means. Death. No! Ha <laughs> ha! 
No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we only lost 1% sanity from that. That's amazing. Jesus, wow. Okay, that's cool. Our brain is apparently very resilient. All right, nice. Uh, it did give us a good clue, though, because it means that the ghost room is somewhere in the back, right? Because it came, came running up the stairs. So that was actually not all bad. So, the ghost room is most likely here somewhere, because it took a long, long time here to get here. So the ghost room is probably down here somewhere, like way in the back. Way in the back. Hello. Oh! Freezing temperatures! Nice! That's basically free evidence. Boom. So now I'm guessing this is the ghost room. I'm gonna pop the... I'm gonna pop this little baby down. And then I'm gonna try to talk to it. Um... Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so pretty. Yes, you do. I've got a camera in your room. I'm watching you. <laughs> so what you do to me, yo. What you do to me. Okay, I don't think it's a, it doesn't like... No, no, okay. That's fine. That's okay. Picky ghost. Let's, let's go get some more stuff. <sighs> okay, Jesus Christ, God, freaking damn it! Ah! No! Ah! I mean, Urgh! you see how fast that ghost ran away? It's because I did it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. God, Beatles. Yeah, we could try that. What's a nice Beatles song? Like yesterday. And all my troubles seem so far away Now it seems that though they're here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Okay, okay, let's see. Well, we did find the room, which is good. We're just gonna dump all our equipment in there and just do the whole thing. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Oh. Is it weird that I'm watching this while working out? No, that's good. It's good motivation. It gives the it gives the All right, that's good. That's a little ghost thing. Let's look for little plasma. Ooh, whoa, looking for plasma. That's plasma right there. Oh, that was something. You see that? You see that chat? That's typical plasma. On the bed. <laughs> Trust me. It's ectoplasma. It's not anything else. This hotel room is clean. Don't worry about it, chat. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Alright, we're good. We're good. We're actually doing pretty well. Would you play No Man's Sky? Oh, I should do that again. I think they released a new update. Yeah, we should do that. I have a lot of fun with that. We did stream it a little while ago. Um, I do play it myself from time to time. It's very fun. It's that kind of game that I play the shit out of for two months, and then I leave it alone for a bit, and then I come back to it. Hmm. Jesus Christ, man. Okay, okay. Um... We have two clues, so we need, like, the canvas. How's our sanity? It's actually really good. And check for fingerprints. Those are, like, basically the only clues it could be, right? That's so nice when you have the freezing temps. Like, you get one thing for free, just bam. Oh, no, it's hotel hell. <laughs> what do you do if the whole room just lights up from UV light, hmm? What do you do then? Name of the game? What's it all about? It's demonologist. You're supposed to, like, hunt ghosts and exercise them and find clues and stuff. So it's like a ghost buster kind of thing. Okay, let's place this little bad boy right down there, shall we? Oh, yes, indeed. Let's look for a little fingerprints. This ghost is a very touchy little rascal. Oh, dear, I dropped it on the floor. Oh, yee how comrade. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, see if it uh, see if it does a little bit of fondling on either the door or maybe the light. Let's see where it prefers to do to follow us that. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's a book that moved. Oh, dear. 
Well, I can't read anyway, so I'm not scared of no book. Can't can't be scared about what you can't read. All right, let's see. So the ghost is supposed to be right there. Oh, yeah. oh partner! All right, that's good. That's a nice little T-post right there. I see you, Street. It's a Raiju. I'm going to confirm that nice little Raiju right, right there, right there, right now. All right, baby. Hell yeah. Okay, we're supposed to look for this thing. We're supposed to find the time of the ghost. Oh, there's the hidden note. Maria! Excellent. Okay, so we have to look around the whole house and find the text. At least now I know what I'm looking for. I have no idea where it can spawn still. I guess we'll start here, because we're close. Look, so much ectoplasm. It's everywhere. Disgusting. Ah, oh, they don't even clean their hotel rooms anymore. Stop scraping shit! You're gonna scrape the floors. Fuck. I mean, I mean, fuck. I mean, sh Balls. Uh, can the thing be here? Even though it's like this thing? Limbo! Limbo. Limbo? Ooh, it works! Yay! Fun times. Wee. Uh, I'm not sure if it can be back here. Maybe it can't. <gasps> Ginevelle, thank you so much for the hundred Swiss francs. We will come for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Best of luck and thanks for bringing a lot of positivity. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> thank you so much for the cheese shekels. I really appreciate them. Ooh, I'm probably going to go to Switzerland for a bit this summer. It's going to be so nice. It's going to be so nice. I haven't been there in a little bit. I went skiing there recently. I went to Zermatt. It was so nice. It's such a beautiful place. Really pricey. But very beautiful. Very beautiful. I, my most sinful spending in Sermat was this is this super cute restaurant they have in the village. It's like a hole in the wall that's a crepe place. And they have crepes with fondue cheese. And of course it's Switzerland, so you know it's like twenty bucks. But it, it's so good. Oh there it is! Six twenty. Okay. That's a little bit trickier than the last time. Um let's see now. Oh, the clocks are not in the same place? Oh, we're also supposed to find the salt bags, whatever that means. Alright, uh, let's look for clocks, shall we? But yeah, no, the crepes, uh, Sermat uh, fondue crepes are mwah, beautiful, sinful things you just have to try if you're there. Is that a salt bag? Okay, that sound sounds salty, so that's perfect. I don't know how many there are. Ooh, another one? I'm guessing like three? Three or maybe five? Smile! Oh. Give me the soap bags. It was 6.20, right? On the on the click. Oh. Okay, we got him. It was only three. Hell yeah. I guess that noise means that we're done. So that's perfect. Oh, here it is. Okay, 6.20, right? It's like... Clock spawn after you're done with things. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, it's like... Oh, yeah, it's the last step of the quest. That makes sense. Okay, let's see. Where's the clicky click click? But yeah, thank you so much for the hundred Swiss francs. That's way too generous. I will spend that on crepes and Sarmat if I, if I end up going back. It's so nice. It's so nice. Little bit of skiing. Little bit of crepes. Little bit of fondue. Little bit of fondue. Little bit of death. Little bit of death. Little bit of creepy ghosty shit. Oh, yes. Here's another click. I think there's three clicks, right? Now we're done two. Bananas, thank you so much for the five gifted memberships. That's way too generous. This one is all for you. Mwah. Thank you so much. I hope I don't die. That'd be nice. <laughs> thank you so much, you beautiful bean. That is way too generous. To anyone who's lucky enough to receive a membership today, uh, make sure to link your YouTube account to Discord. You get awesome custom roles on the Discord server if you have a membership and your account is linked. Oh yes indeed. Easily worth it. It has some like special channels and there's like cool colors and there's like just badass stuff. Oh yes indeed. It's very nice. But we're still looking for one clock though. There's one missing. We're so close. We can do this. Where could it be though? It doesn't seem like it's in the basement. We found two upstairs already. Is it really gonna be upstairs? But they also spawn after we're done with everything else, so they could be, like, anywhere, you know? It's, it could be very sneaky. Maybe it actually is in the hallway. Is it here? No, it's not. Hmm. 
I'm gonna double check upstairs, because that won't be fixed. Oh shit. Is it haunting? <laughs> okay, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Oh, here was another- <gasps> Uh, that was nice. My microphone died. <laughs> Maybe that was good. It spared the audience. <laughs> oh, God, I'm out of here. What happens if I... Okay, chat. I am, uh... <sighs> you know, the scientist in my brain... It's a bit like, what happens if we, uh, if you play with this when the ghost is already exercised? What happens then? Oh, yeah, just go closer to your face with it. God. What, ha what happens then, chat? What happens then? Oh, I can only open it in the house. Slave. That that's not good. If it comes up, lovers run. I don't. You die, do it. I don't. Frick around and find out. <laughs> I mean, I did. Oh, take a picture of it. That's a good idea. Oh, I don't have a camera on me anymore. I think it's upstairs. And we were pretty much done. Is the ghost gone after we do the exercise, or can we still die? Oh, where did all my stuff go? Oh no, it was the other run. The stuff is way downstairs. Oh no. Can't you use... No, you can't use it outside. You see, I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. You can still die? Oh well, then I'm not gonna risk it. I need my cash for the turtle. Screw this. Maybe I can bring it back home with me, though. I'm gonna bring it back home with me. There's no benefit for the camera, it's just for an objective. Ah, I see. Well, maybe it's worth going getting the camera. I still have my sanity pills. Can you still be killed, like, by the ghost, just like this? Because I kind of want to take a picture of it, just for the achievement. Let's do it. I'm going to go get my camera. It's in the basement, in the haunted basement. This feels very stupid. Am I going to die? Probably. But it's okay. Take them home with you. Free cursed tarot cards. I know, right? And if a ghost comes with it, it's just free friend. You know, people are always so sensitive about this kind of stuff. Uh, let's see. Where did I drop the camera? It was somewhere here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there it is. No, that's not the voice box. Where's the camera? Did I ever bring the camera? Maybe I didn't bring it. Huh? I could have sworn I brought it down here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe the camera is still upstairs. <laughs> Am I being silly? <laughs> Did I go down here for nothing? Maybe I went down here for nothing. Oh. I mean, it seems safe, right? Nothing weird. No weird events have happened since I... ...did the thing. You need to take notes on your equipment. Yeah, I know, right? I always keep forgetting. Yeah, the camera's still here. God, I'm an idiot. All right, cheese. Ding dong. Very nice. I'll take another one just for, for good measure and one little zoom up. It's an old-fashioned camera. Can I just use my iPhone for this? Oh, well, whatever. Um, yeah, let's go, baby. We completed this. I'm proud of myself. Hell yeah. Boop. Confirm, baby. Oh, <gasps> we nailed it! Look at that chat! We made so much of the moonies! Find the correct ghost type? Hell yeah. Use ectoplasm. Oh, we got all of it. We're so good, man. We're so good. Wait, no way. No way. Are we... We are two dollars! Two dollars away from affording the turtle! Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. I got this. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. We can sell a sanity pill. <gasps> it's probably a stupid idea because you don't get all the money back. But I want my turtle. Turtle. Boink. Use. Turtle. 
Oh! God, I love you! No! Oh! My life is complete. Look at it. Such a good boy. It's just walking around with its fat ass. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Look at that friend. Chat, we bought a friend today. We bought a friend. Let's celebrate with the Banshee. Come, turtle. Let's celebrate with the Banshee. Banshee! Uh, come here. There we are. Very nice. You see, Banshee? We have a friend now. It's very nice. You know that you have a free friend when there's just a Banshee included in your bathtub? That's... That costs extra. Oh, look at little portal. It's very dark here. Look, it's a very dark house. Our light is kind of garbage. You're so cute, Tortel. You're so cute. I love you. I love you. Uh, maybe we can buy buy a, this. That's good. Kitchen dining table. Oh, look at that. It's like comfortable and cozy now. We can sit here and vibe with the boys. There's even a pizza slice. There's an included pizza slice in the table. You know it's a good IKEA table when you have an included pizza slice. You're so good, Tortel. You're so good. I love you. Oh, look at it. It's just vibing around. Oh! He's doing the big yawn. Oh, he's doing big yawn because he's a big boy. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Can I feed him? Can I feed him something? He has a bowl here. I'm not sure if I can feed him. Can I feed him ectoplasm? Can I feed you ectoplasm, little Tortel? Are oh, you just walking through me? Okay, that's fine. God, I love him. Oh, it's amazing. Give him grapes. You can give him grapes. Can you? Let's see. Do we have any food we can actually feed him? Uh, uh, maybe we can give him egg. I don't see anything that we can grab, sadly. We're pretty broke. I don't think we have any grapes. I still don't know what this does. It's like... Fakirhain. Fa fa Fakirhain. <laughs> Fakirhain? Fakirhain? Fakirhain! It sounds like I'm saying a swear. I'm gonna get demonetized. Ah, <laughs> uh, little, little creature. Oh, you're so cute! You show it to- Oh, I love you, Tortel! Can I have all the pets at the same time? Can I just have a crap load of pets walking around my house all the time? I would love that. Oh. Dream retirement, baby. Look at this. What a good boy. What a good boy. Say it in Swedish. Sköldpadda. It's called sköldpadda. Which is basically shield toad. That's literally what it's called in Swedish. A lot of Swedish are very literal. Same thing in German. Um, a lot of Nordic languages, or Germanic languages rather, are very literal in a lot of the sense. Ah, oh, my little shield toad. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. Ah, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, chat, we have been streaming for quite a while. And I am thinking of rounding it off before it gets way too late. It's already like, damn, 11 my time zone. Time really flies when you have fun streaming, doesn't it? Thank you all so much for showing up with me here today. You absolute beautiful beans. We had a lot of fun. This was an amazing stream. Good chat, good games, good everything. As it always is with you. Beautiful, wonderful beans. And we will stream some more games in the near future. And I do hope you're all here for the treat. Thank you all so very much. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the near future. Thank you, everyone, who became members, who donated, all that kind of stuff, or followed, or just vibed or lurked in the chat. I appreciate you a ton. Yes, indeed. Take care, you absolutely beautiful beans.